Hello there mortals, I'm Jensen and today we are going to be going back into Hydrania to try and clean up a heap of achievements. There are lots of achievements in this game, many many achievements. I'm going to bring up a good list of the ones that I have on Steam if I can. What in God's green backside am I looking at? I think I've fallen through the map. Uh, I mean it's handy. Knowing that we can kind of, like, see around the place. Still don't know what that kind of glowing gold pile is. Or what it's supposed to be. Okay, let's try and go back through the wall. No, we can't. And we're in! That was so weird. We had to use the lava to, like, bounce ourselves into the map. That was super strange. Okay, so... Essentially, what we were left with in the last session was... Two of these machines are completely busted, and they're probably not going to work. But we do have them on hand regardless so it's not going to be so bad i'm actually going to see if i can see my steam achievements on my phone first of all because hydrogen doesn't have a borderless full screen mode unfortunately which means i can't look at the achievements without minimizing the game okay uh well maybe i can't maybe i can't take a look at the achievements no i can't all right that's a little bit annoying so I'm going to have to bust them out onto my Steam page, and I'm going to reference them. But essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finishing off the sorting system. We're going to get a sorting system topside into this area. And then immediately after that, we are going to do our BS2 polish off a bunch of achievements. A lot of them should be really fast as well. I wonder why these don't work. We definitely stuck down some piping that would force it to work. Okay, what if we just put this one here... Turn this into the T-junction, right here. Has it got something to do with the geometry of this map? Because if that's the case, that's going to be really, really annoying. Okay, the machine is in the way. Let's go ahead and just move this to there. Okay, that's going to dump it onto the sorting system. It should be absolutely fine, though. Go ahead and plug that in. Okay, that is functioning. That's not good, actually. That's really obnoxious. So this doesn't work. We're probably going to have to move this uh, centralizer hook here. Okay, let's put that further up the automation chain. And we'll just have these dump everything out to there because we still have the uh, water filter hooks further along the chain that way. Which should be absolutely fine. I feel like we're probably going to have to move this one as well, just here, possibly. And we're going to need to get another straight pipe, which I don't think we have down here. We're going to, we're going to need to link it in. Which means... This one needs to be a T-junction and not a elbow. And this one needs to be moved over here. Good. Okay, we're also going to have to get our pickaxe and mine out a little bit more egress so that we can actually kind of like see what we're doing. We can actually hook these pipes in. Good. I think in this episode we'll try and also aim for having about as many machines as is humanly possible hooked into this big system here because if there's any achievements that we can't get or we need to clean up potentially it's going to be significantly easier to get them once we have this entire piece of infrastructure set up okay let's fire this one over here this can go there good that should be linked in it's not powered which is probably a good thing Let's go ahead and get ourselves another straight pipe so we can link in the uh, conveyor belts that we need it to dump onto. Sounds good. Uh, we need a straight pipe, which we're probably going to find in the sled of, of pipes right here. I'll go ahead and I'll drop this right there. And we'll grab a straight conveyor to stick basically right on top of it. Excellent. Okay, so we'll come over here. Drop that there. Good. And now, I want to get these pipes. I want to get these pipes plugged in over here get that one there this one needs to face the right direction which it is not and it goes right there excellent now we just need a single straight pipe and that should be us basically good to go once we get this entire thing set up it's going to be significantly easier for us to kind of like do everything else that we need to do take this one here this one's straight enough what did i miss bruce you missed absolutely nothing we've just started the stream and we are going to be trying to get as many of the achievements as is humanly possible in this game Excellent, the whole thing works. Nice, I like this. Now we need to plug in a, so a crude sorting system of some sort right here. I think if we just kind of like have one bend that goes left and then a bunch of lifts that go up into the sky, that would be absolutely perfect. 
But we're also going to have to plan that out. I also don't think we have a left bend on hand, so we're probably going to have to go and buy one. Which, again, is absolutely fine. I don't mind this whatsoever. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, nothing too much has happened. I think maybe we bump in from here, then one straight to put this hook centralizer on there, and then we'll go from there. That's probably the best option, right? Because all of these are just going to dump straight into the conveyor up here anyway. Good. Now... What do we need? We need a heap of elbows, don't we? So we may as well just kind of like dig out a little path down here so we can kind of work with. So we'll dig this out a little bit here. We need a right bend and a straight. Don't think we'll get the gem polishes here because that's probably pretty unnecessary. And then we'll try and lift this up into the sky about as far as we possibly can using just a pickaxe. Money? Yeah, we've, we've pretty much got money automated at this point. We've still got maybe 30,000 bucks in the back of the truck, in the back of the ute. I don't think we are going to want for money anymore in this playthrough. We've basically sorted out the vanilla world and also this DLC area perfectly fine with money. We probably won't need any more. We are going to need lots and lots of elbow pipes, though. So let's go ahead and just kind of, like, mine out a little bit of room to stick the pipe cart so that we can come back down here and we won't need to go topside so frequently. Okay, this should be enough room. Maybe a little bit more. This looks good. I'll give us some access on the top of the card as well so we can actually get things out of it. And that should be enough. I'm just going to drop this here. Let's go get the cart. Still a little bit of a damp fart that we haven't got a staircase for this place yet. All right, where is it? Where is the pipe card? There it is. Great. Let's get the sled down in the hole. And we should be golden from about here on. All right, so we're going to need a couple of straights first. This one will do. No, nope, we're going to need elbows first. Actually, why have we got an elbow facing out this way? That's not actually the direction we want it. Ah, but we can't move this, can we? Hmm. That's a spicy conundrum. We have the magnet on a stick. It should be fine, actually. Okay, let's just pick this up, and we'll throw it on the ground here. I don't mind too much. This elbow can go on the ground. Where'd that straight pipe go? Right here. We're going to stick this wherever we damn well can. I think all of these things are in the way. Let's go ahead and get the magnet on a stick. Just get all of that out of the way, and we're probably going to need a bucket as well. Just to... Just to collect all of the items in. Is this empty? Yes, sirree. Okay, we'll drop this into the hole. Whoop. Excellent. And we also need the magnet on a stick, which may be in the back here. It may not be. It might be on the ground somewhere. Where would we have put it? Because we didn't stick it next to the sign over there. Maybe we didn't grab it. Maybe we didn't grab the magnet on a stick. It's a little short-sighted of us, though. Hmm, hey there, fancy font guy. Welcome to the stream. I'm not seeing a hell of a lot that we can use as a utility. Okay. Well, I'm not particularly attached to what we've got. I'm just going to go ahead and clear all the raw resources just so it's all out of the way. It's a little bit of a loss of money, but it's absolutely fine. Money is not the goal anymore. We'll grab this. We'll put this here. So we'll probably need a couple of straights before we want to lift it with an elbow right here. Very good. Put that right there. Excellent. And now we're going to elbow all the way up to the surface from here. That is a T-junction. That's useless to us. We want this elbow right here to basically go there. Nice. Get another elbow. Put this right here. Gorgeous. B9 bands. What? You've been banned? <laughs> Not from here, you haven't been. Yeah. Save one of your clips from uh, Cry. Cry of Fear? What, did you get banned for it? <laughs> Wouldn't that be ironic? I make the content, other people get banned for it. Okay, that's uh, two. We're going to need to mine out a little bit more with this pickaxe right here. And then we'll keep on lifting upwards into a very, very crude sorting system, I'm, I'm expecting. No bands? What? All I'm seeing is B9 bands, aha. Okay. I'm probably as confused as the rest of chat at this point. Uh, we'll mine all of this out. That should be fine enough. Let's go ahead and grab some more of these elbows. I know it's not ideal the way we're doing this. It's probably not as efficient as people would hope, but it is it is working. We are lifting up. Put that there. Good. We need a bunch. We probably don't have enough elbows either, to be quite fair, because we need a bunch for the sorting system as well. Kind of like divert a bunch of the resources off. Put that there. I'm being gaslight. Yeah, I'd probably agree, actually. 
Sunday 17th. We are in summer at the moment here in New Zealand. We have just hit, no, not summer, uh, spring. Literally yesterday, and the temperature here in New Zealand has shot up 20 degrees. Basically overnight. It's actually been horrible. That's the weather for everybody else. I hope nobody else is dying of, like, global warming stuff, because that was very predictable, the global warming stuff. <laughs> okay, I'll dump all of this stuff here that we don't actually want in the way. I think we'll just climb up a little bit as well and try and mine out the rest of this. Because if we can get this hole to go right up topside, we probably don't need to keep on dumping things through the really annoying one to get through. Perfect. Uh, looks like we've actually parked our car on top of this spot right here, which might not be the best thing in the world, but we can just move it. Okay, we'll do that. We'll move the car. Or I could get stuck on everything on the, along the way. Okay, let's get on the pipes and just jump up these. Or not. Okay, it doesn't really look like we've got much of an option. Let's move this here. Truck, excellent. So, this little hole right here, this is going to be our sorting system. I think. Yes, definitely. We probably want to mine out a little bit more of it so we can actually exit out here as well. Or we could just run up the conveyor belt, which does serve as a pretty amiable staircase to us anyway. Fall here? Well, that sucks. I actually kind of like autumn. autumn. Autumn's nice. I like when the leaves fall all over the place. Here in New Zealand, we've got really, really pretty trees. Pretty colours in the leaves. So some of our trees turn, like, red. And in the autumn, that just scatters all over the, all over the roads and stuff. Okay, good. Get all this out of the way. But I've got a beautiful country. I'm kind of lucky in a way. It's just a shame it's full of New Zealanders. <laughs> We're very standoffish people, reasonably. Okay, uh, now that we got that out of the way, let's continue on with the elbows. Here's one. We might want to take this car topside and then kind of elbow in from up there. Because what we're doing right now is probably the least effective way of doing this possible. Oh, I didn't realize we could actually run up this. Never mind, I take everything back. This is easy. This is really easy. As long as we've got enough elbows. Perfect. Got one! Have you played In Sound Mind yet? No, no I have not. Um, uh, it's apparently quite a long game. And I'm going to do a Let's Play of it. Oh, I probably should have put it on the, uh, the vote for this week, right? I want this facing the right way. Like that. Perfect. That should be absolutely fine and dandy. I'll take this up topside now because we don't actually want these pipes down south. And unfortunately, we can't actually do anything downside with these pipes. We've basically automated the entire system down there. Okay, we'll take a couple of these elbows and hook them in from here. Like so. Very good. Need like five, six more, maybe? Who knows? We're probably just going to set up our sorting system right smack dab in the middle of this this gigantic area here. Okay, got another elbow. Put this one right there. Nice. I'm glad we picked out the almost the entire egress. We may actually have to pick out a little bit more, but should be fine anyway. Huh? Okay, that's not good. We need to go down and we need to get our pickaxe. Ooh. I mean to say, Ben, I'm not going to lie. The font is pro It looks really cool, but it's really hard to read. <laughs> Especially at a glance, which is all I've really got time to do if I'm doing a bunch of streaming stuff as well as reading reading chat. Okay, I'll come up here and we want to start mining out the bottom of this tunnel because that's what's being blocked off. Like so. We get rid of all of this around here. Okay, I doubt that we're going to encounter an issue where the sorting system will bump into the terrain if we place down lots and lots of lifts. Throw that on the ground because we don't need it anymore. Get this one. Piped in right there. Very nice. That's an elbow. I'll take it. Yes. And we'll pipe that in there. And we need another one right here. Very good. And we need another one here. And we're actually going to need to get this sorting system a couple of lifts up off of the ground that we would like it on. So that we can kind of get the automated system to dump in all of the resources from above. Which can be a little bit fiddly, but it's better to do first than not. Okay, that conveyor system should be... Fine, actually. Okay, now we need to stick in the splitters that will allow us to essentially automate the smelting. And I know there's an extra ore in this, this DLC, so we're probably going to need at least five of these bad boys right here. One, two, three, four, five. And also we'll get one more. Six. Just in case we want to put a hook centralizer or something up here. Okay. 
Very hot summer. Yeah, we're having a. We're gonna. We're probably gonna have like a thirty to forty degree summer here in New Zealand. Unless you are also having a very hot summer, I wouldn't know. Okay, I'll put a straight conveyor there, and the rest of them need to be splitters that go onto the side that we want to collect the resources from, which is realistically gonna be maybe this side. So we want them to split to the left. We need five left splitters, and we're also gonna need a bunch of lifts. We're gonna need one, two, three, four. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lifts. And we're also going to need a left bend. Left bend, ten lifts. Left bend, ten lifts. Left bend, ten lifts. And we also need left splitters. Five of them. Okay, so we only need the lefts. We only need left bends and ten lifts. That's about all we need. We should have enough straight conveyors to polish this off as well right now. We'll go straight to the city that sells all of these little doodads that we need. And we'll get that set up right now. Summer bands. How do I shoot down an RC cargo plane? It depends on how big the cargo is. You can actually blind it with an infrared laser, which uh, disorients it and uh, gets it shut down. Or you could just look at the brand, and if it says Boeing, you don't need to do anything. It'll take itself down. There you go. Easy. Done. Okay, uh... I love how half of that was good advice and the other half was just, eh, just let the chips fall where they may. We don't have our money here. Hopefully it's in the back of the truck. Yes, it is. We got 27,000 buckery booze. That is enormous. Let's go ahead, drop this here. We are probably going to want to stick all of this crap on the back of the truck. So let's just go ahead and back this into a nice position where we can actually put all of these little doohickeys. Uh, we'll start with the easy ones first. We need a single left conveyor. We need five left splitters. One, two, three, four, five. And we're not going to do the gems just yet, although we could. That's going to require another five of these. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to need ten of these lifts right here. And probably another one as well for the gem cuttery that we're also going to need to set up. Four. Three, I'll say that's four. Five. It's okay to have spears. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Done. Let's get back in the truck, and hopefully we can back it into the the checkout without screwing ourselves. Because we don't want it to disappear. Please, please don't make me do this. Okay, I, I'm kind of like moving the car in a weird diagonal position. Excellent, we can drive on the conveyor. Done. These people do not believe in theft. No, uh, that's probably because the the whole incentivization to buy things is basically founded off of whether or not you can leave the store with it, and you can't. It just everything deatomizes if you try and steal it. I think we got the truck stuck annoyingly. Let's try and back it out this way. What is it stuck on? Game, cooperate. What are you doing? Okay, our front wheel is stuck on that one conveyor that won't move, I think. That's not good. In fact, that's really bad. We can't afford another one of these cars, and they're really annoying to get. And I know that as soon as we hit the unstuck button, the car is going to despawn all of the items that we just stuck on our trunk. Okay, fine. Great. Okay, we have to actually hit the unstuck button. All of the items just disappeared. That was an absolute waste of our time. Great. Love that. Love that for us. In fact, screw this. Let's just get a, a flat-out shopping cart. Plane is going down. Is it Boeing? <laughs> Alright, so this right here will fill up this sled with what we need. Uh, we need ten of these left conveyors right here. Two, three, four, five. We need to go away from them to stop moving, because that's when they basically stop becoming a clippable object. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we need one lift conveyor here. Done. Then we need ten lifts. This is going to be a pain in the ass. One, because they're big. Uh, uh, Two, three, uh, four, five, six. Uh, se Half of these have fallen out, by the way. Seven, eight, Nine. Huh? Ten. Ten. Okay, good. 
Oh, I don't think any of them have fallen off, actually. That's nice. Okay. Go ahead and drop that there, and we'll buy all of this crap. Now let's drop this onto the back of the truck, and we'll get this sled on the back of the truck as well. Boop. There we go. Grab that. And come on through here. Get into the truck. Awesome. So we've got everything that we need, minus all of the... I think there's straight conveyors. I, th I think we're probably a bit short on straight conveyors, but other than that, we should be absolutely fine and dandy. My God, it is really hot here today. Jesus. It's got to be getting close to about 25 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. It's probably like 107, maybe 120, something like that. I don't understand Fahrenheit. I'm pretty sure that Americans just say random numbers just to confuse the rest of the world. And that's the entire imperial system of measurement. Okay. Now that we're out here. Okay, so let's start unloading this here truck. That is definitely facing the right way. Excellent. Put this one over here. And we need to put another lift down right there. Good. Now we need another lift. Perfect. And we'll put this one here. I'm also going to move this sled full of pipes because we're done with it. And we're going to grab this sled full of other crap. And we're just going to drop it on the ground there. Lol nip. It is kind of hard to read, actually. It is a hard to read font. Does it have a name? Okay, good. I'll stick that there. And I'll get onto these pipes. Can we just run up these? No, we're probably going to have to get the good old pickaxe and mine out a better egress. I'm kind of stuck, actually. Let's go ahead and hit the unstuck button. Pretty sure we left the pickaxe top side right here. I see it. It's literally right there. Okay, we'll grab this. There's also a crap pickaxe. We should probably have a better one by this point. Okay, good. Let's get this hole dug out. Ish. Hopefully. Please? Please let me jump up. Thank you. Oh my god, this is yucky. <laughs> I don't like the collisions in this game. They are a little bit janky-wanky, I think. All right, good. We'll get all of the snow out of the way so we can just run up and down these conveyor belts like we were doing in the base game. Excellent. And we have access. I'm just going to mine out a little bit more in case we get bumped off accidentally. And we should be fine. Empire is the font's name. It looks sick. It looks really, really cool. Okay, good. Wish I learned how to make custom fonts on YouTube. All I've seen is kind of like the glitch text that you can stick on YouTube videos. Oh, you don't even need to jump up these. That's handy. All right, let's grab this and we'll chuck this one on here. Nice. I'm going to grab the rest of the sled and we'll drop it right next to where we are working with. I'll grab that because that's obviously a lift and it just looks hideous. Put that there. Nice. Grab another one. Put it there. Very cash money. This one is obviously a lift. Oops, I've fallen off of the conveyor system. It's embarrassing. Put that there. Nice. And I think this is the first straight lift we've ever had as well. So it's probably going to look very pleasing when it's done. All right, good. That's done. Now we need two straights. We've got one down here already. We're going to need to grab another one. And we should have spears up here. Yeah, we do. Excellent. Let's grab this one. And down we go. Now we need that left bend that we bought at the store, which might be a little bit hard to find amongst all of these other splitters. Probably actually just start sticking the splitters up top side here. One there. One there. Uh, one there. And one there. And also one there. Okay, that's all of the ores taken care of. Probably not going to take care of these stones that come out of the mine, but it should be absolutely fine regardless. Okay, I'll drop this one right here. Excellent. Uh, I think that's the one we want. No, not that one. <laughs> I'm having to pixel hunt for what we actually need. Let's get this one off of the cart as well because we don't need it on the cart. Okay, this one little left conveyor I'm certain is the one that we actually need. Yes, perfect. Stick that. Actually, we didn't need this. We didn't need this whatsoever. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, we'll come up topside. Maybe we can stick it at the end of here. Ah, uh, that's going to be a little bit annoying if it bends in this way, because it's going to make it really hard to access. We actually want a right bend, I think, at the end of that. So let's go ahead and just stick it an elbow in place so we don't forget. We need it to go that way. Perfect. 
All right, so that has to be a right bend. Now we're going to need a bunch of straights as well. We're going to need to alternate lots and lots of straight pipes and those splitter conveyors. And I think right at the end of the work chain, we'll probably just try and dump all of the stone into another big brick fabricator or something like that. I was playing the Hit Kid game, Roadblocks was painful. Yeah, Roadblocks can be very, very painful, I've found. Especially when people keep pestering you to, you know, uh, quote memes and stuff that you'd never heard of uh, from it. Somebody asked me for Robux a couple of months ago. Can you believe that? Someone actually had the balls to ask me for Robux. Me, a streamer. <laughs> what a weird world. Okay, put that there, put that there. This is going to have to be really long, by the way, on account of the gems being quite fiddly. Okay, I didn't mean to grab that, but I did regardless. Put that there, put that there. And this should be long enough. I know the pressure's not going to be great, but it is a conveyor system, so it doesn't matter how fast it is. Okay, so the first one will go here. Yes. This one will go one block away from there because we need to leave a single space away just so we can hook in the logic for the gem compressors beneath the sorting system one here good and the last one needs to go all the way at the end here beautiful i didn't even i didn't even count it out i'm glad this all worked out in the end because i didn't count anything what is this this is a lift okay we had a spare lift anyway that's annoying to know uh now that is not straight do we have any straights I don't think so. Maybe we don't have any more straight conveyors. I did think that, that was going to be the choke, though. Like, I definitely knew that that was specifically going to be the choke point. We'll come up here. We will take this here repair kit, and we'll try and repair this water filter. Done. That'll turn everything on. We got... Oh, done with that. We could also probably start hooking in everything else now. But as long as this grinder is grinding, it doesn't really matter. Actually, we've already shut the conveyor system off. Let's just do it. We'll split everything off. Put that one there. Nice. And that is lagging the game a little bit. Oh, perfect. They actually did make it. Great. All right. The grinder should have made a... Yep, an absolute arseload of materials. Perfect. And now we want to go topside while that is chugging away. And we want to finish off the sorting system that we started. Okay, so this one can go right there. We're going to need a few more of these. Although, I don't know if we're going to need any more of these lines here then cannot get my six <laughs> six bucks <laughs> yeah never give your robux away especially if you've got it just flex on people flex on people who don't have it that's the best way okay oh we do actually have a couple of straight conveyors perfect so let's drop that one there and we'll drop this one here that should be all of them though Now, I do know that we're going to need something else right at the end of here, and I don't remember exactly how many ores there are going to be, but we are going to plug in all of our machinery here specifically. I feel like I'm going to actually just go here, take the initiative. We're going to open up a wiki for bridge pour, and with this wiki, we're going to see exactly how many new ores there are. Volcalidus DLC. This will just take us straight to where we need to go. Good! Okay, so this is actually all of the resources for this game right here in the Steam thread. Awesome resources. Okay, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. One of them doesn't get smelted, though. One gets turned into bricks. So we need five of these things, and one of the machines that turns hard stone into bricks. And then aside from that, we need one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we're going to need five ore... Sorters. We're gonna need five gem sorters. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. And I think right at the end here, we'll just have a long drop leading straight into the machine that creates bricks, because that's the only issue that we're having necessarily. Let's see if we've got a cork somewhere, because we probably want to plug it in to the end of the sorting system here. We're probably done with it. Do we have one here? Yes, we do actually. Nice. All right, we'll plug this in. Come up here. Put that right there. Nice. Now, we probably need to finish off the entire sorting system before we can actually, in good conscience, get the sorting system functioning down south side so we can alleviate some of these here stressors. All right, I'm going to put this here hook centralizer right there so that everything goes up in line with everything that we already have placed. Probably actually start placing the items on here as well. What have we got here? Uh, let's start with the iron. This is iron. Perfect. A big chunk as well. Great. 
Iron always goes first because it's the uh, most easy to obtain material, I would say. And we also have some... Is that core stone? No, that's an uncut emerald. I think this is core stone. Uncut ruby, useless to us. This right here, what is this? That is also an uncut ruby. Core stone. Okay, so this is one of the rarest ones. So iron, gold, plautium, core stone. Core stone goes here. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and reopen that wiki. We'll see just how rare the other item is. Uh, Volcalidus. Guide, right here. Okay, let's look at the rarity of these things. Plautium, core stone, gold, iron, and this hard stone as well. So the hard stone we're going to have to dump into a chest. Ah, right, shards. That's right. Shards are yucky. We don't, we don't actually want those whatsoever. So there's no new ores. There's only hard stone. Good. Okay, so we can leave that there right at the... Actually, let's take this iron and we'll stick it here. And then the shards can be right at the start so we can kind of like ignore them as best as we can possibly manage. They also don't place very well. There's so many reasons not to like shards. Ah, oh, but it increases pressure. It increases pressure so everything's faster. Yeah, we're not using lava. We're not using water anymore. That's the thing. Got some cloudium right here that can go further down the chain, maybe actually right here, and we'll move this core stone, whoops, we'll move this core stone right to the end, good, go ahead and grab this little nugget here, and we'll go back up the sorting system, perfect, we'll get this all sorted, and then I'll go for a, a big old mass run for the, for the achievements in the game, because there are a heap that we can just get flat out right this second, all right, now we need gold, we need to put gold on the items, here we go. A gigantic gold ore nugget. That is huge. That is a huge ingot. Uh, nugget. Sorry, not ingot. Drop that right there. Beautiful. Got to bring up my streaming software. I'll do that right now. Excellent. So, now that we got that out of the way, we probably want to go ahead and install a gem polisher at some point as well, right? Maybe right here? So then we can kind of sort all of the gem polishers to just filter all of the gems rather than the uncut gems. Which should be a really, really good thing. Yeah, it should be a really good idea. Or we could put the gem polisher right here and then line in more of them. But we already have this little doohickey right here, which should give us the ability to polish gems. Do we have a gem polisher here? We can go buy one. They're not expensive. Whoops. By any means necessary whatsoever. Okay, now we don't, we definitely don't have one. We'll get our shopping cart. We'll stick it on the back of the truck and we'll go for a bit of a shop. Because we do need a few things now. Uh, let's go ahead and jump up here. We're also going to need a logic system to order repair all of those filters down south side so we can leave this thing going. Okay. So we need a single right bend and we need a couple of straight conveyors. Right bend, a couple of straight conveyors. That's literally all we need. <laughs> Seriously? Okay. We'll get that and we'll get some auto smelters and maybe some gem compressor units. Some logic cables, maybe. We definitely have the money for it. We are going to have to drive to the other end of the map, though. So if we are going to do logic, we'll make a single enormous trip for it. I actually kind of like the placement of, of this dig site here. I know it's not very close to the city, the giant bubble city, which, honestly, from this distance, we can't even see. But it does have everything that we would need at a mid-to-end game level. I imagine end game, we're basically going to be going back to the bubble city and getting ourselves resources... Uh, relentlessly until the end of the game, or we're going to make, be making lots and lots of trips to get ourselves many, many machines from the volcano. But again, not really our problem. All right, what do we need? We needed a straight and two straights and a right bend, didn't we? Right conveyor, get that one in the cart right there. Now we need two straights, one and two, and we'll actually get a few more straights so that we can line in more machines down south side. I think that'd be a very, very good idea. Put all of this in here. That should be enough. That should actually be enough. We get a gem polisher hook right here. Put that in there. Great. Now what else do we need? I think that's pretty much all we need from this shop. All we need, we only need to get pipes and stuff here. Okay, I'll leave that on the shopping cart there. We'll get our money. We'll spend it. We'll get lots and lots of resources. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, huh? Huh? Can you not see the things that I'm trying to buy? Huh? What are you talking about? I didn't pay for any of these. 
checking the piss? Why isn't it detecting my items? Uh, uh. Is this just like free? Oh. No, it's not free. The game just bugged out and we couldn't buy it. Okay, thank you, game. This, that's actually kind of one of the reasons that I'm very excited just to polish off the series. Like, the game is really fun. But at this point, the bugs are getting just so egregiously heinous. That they're the things that are now impeding our progress rather than the actual core gameplay loop itself. Hello, Jensen. Hey there, Spray Paints. How you doing? Okay, we'll get this gem polisher hook again. Okay, that's still not close enough. Okay, now it's registering it. Good. Perfect. I don't know why it wasn't registering it before. Accidentally press space. Big what? Big skip issue. Big toilet issue. Skippity issue. There's like, when I read chat, there's a little heart emoji in the corner that I can't get rid of. Big skill issue. Hey, people make typos. It happens. Sometimes I don't even use punctuation. Well, now I have a massive streak of not pulling all-nighters. Nice! That's awesome to hear. Isn't it awesome when you get a good night's sleep? Okay, we'll go and line this in. And then we'll probably make a trip to the city so that we can get everything for the sorting system that we need. There, minus all of the logic stuff. Because we're going to need to go to the other end of the map for the logic stuff. So that's probably going to have to be planned out. So I'm doing good. Got sleep. For real, for real. Yeah, YouTube needs to fix it. I know, it's a little bit obnoxious, isn't it? They keep sticking these icons all over the place where we actually need to be able to see things. But, you know, features a feature. It also forced me to have to cut chat off up there as well. So, that's also a bit of an issue. Okay. We'll go along here. We'll patch over the last of the sorting system before we think about huh? getting all of the actual items required for the functional sorting and automation of such. Uh, we'll organize that that way. We'll put that there. Very good. And we need a couple of straights on the other end of here, don't we? Or maybe just the one. No, we only need the one. And it's facing the right way. Perfect. So that is the sourcing, sorting system essentially done and dusted. Probably just want to go ahead and stick this here, gem polisher, on the on the line, maybe here? I know it's pretty far up the chain of operations, but we've got the centralizer down here. That's probably more useful to be down there than anywhere else. We still have everything fun feeding into this one grinder right here. What, is the filter broken again? Yes. Okay, so we definitely need to get auto repairs set up about as fast as possible too. And then that should be done and dusted as well. Oh, we probably need to plug that in. It's embarrassing. I'll go look for another cork. We may have another cork. We may not have another cork. Such is life. There's a bucket there. We actually don't need this bucket down south side anymore. We need it up here. And we need to place it at the end of this conveyor system so that we can actually uh, kind of catch all of the bricks, I suppose, and anything miscellaneous that would make its way through the sorting system too. Is there a way to automatically have what you type turn into a font? I don't think that's actually a thing, is it? I use tablet? Yeah, no, I don't think there's an automated way. I think you have to use the kind of like some kind of command, right? It's it's never as simple as as having something automated. Okay, this is fine. We're gonna need five or we're gonna need a lot of things actually. Let's go ahead and just empty the the cart, the shopping cart of all of these items that we just bought. Place this one there, and this one as well can go there. And I'm also going to take this one. We're going to place it up top there. Perfect. That's nice and stacked. Grab our shopping cart, and we'll dump it into the back of this truck again. Now we are off to the shops. We're off to the shops. We are going to need to get ourselves five auto smelters minimum, and they're not exactly cheap. But that should automate all of the ores, and we're also going to need to get some logic stuff as well, which may hit us in the pocket a lot harder than we are currently used to. However, we are generating a lot of ores, so it shouldn't be too bad. I bet there has got to be a program or something for that. There's not even a program for streamers to add the YouTube chat to their, to their live streams with a widget. I had to green screen out the background of just a YouTube chat window to get that up in the top corner, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, YouTube support and streaming is just absolute garbage. I'm pretty sure they are doubling down on just being an exclusive video-based platform, which is a shame because I really like the platform. But there's no support for streamers. It's okay for people like me who kind of 
go out of their way and find ways around all of the limitations, but you know, it, it's a it's a huge bugaboo for a lot of people. Okay, now that we're here, we need auto smelters, which we would find probably in the tier one shop that we built. Maybe I'm going to run that guy down and also uh, try to hit that lady, but I didn't quite get the clutch on her. Here they are. So we're going to need five of these things. It's also TNT here and an ice rake, which we are probably never going to use realistically. Go ahead, drop our shopping cart in here. Uh, put it right next to these here auto smelters. Ooh, okay. Let's start dumping these into the truck. One, two, three, four, five. That is all we will need for the rest of time. There's still money in here. Only five grand, though. How much is this going to sting us? Six and a half. Wow, that's expensive. Okay, I mean, f to never have to worry about it again, I'm very happy to do it. Let's just go ahead and drop that there. What have we got? 22,000 buckery booze. A little bit better. Still not enough to buy us an entire logic repair system, so we're probably going to have to generate just a little bit more cash. Oh, we also need to sell some stuff here at the stock market. If we've got an iron bar, I'm going to do it right the second... Because that's an achievement we haven't got yet, apparently. There we go, the Wolf of Bridgeport. Sell something in the stock market. We only got 272 buckery booze, but at least we got the Chivo. We're going to take the money with us because we don't really have a choice. I wonder if the stacks, if we just drop it here. No, it does not. In fact, it doesn't even fall. Okay, get that. Consolidate all of our money into that pile of 15,000 buckery booze. Done. Okay, our truck is getting a little bit low on fuel as well. Whoop, almost just flipped it over. So we probably want to refuel it. Okay, that's one of the achievements. Done and dusted. We got one out of the way. Absolutely fine and dandy. We didn't get the cart full of goods. Oh my god, that is embarrassing. That's a first. That's actually a first. It's a first that we've forgotten what we've bought just after we bought it. Okay, we'll come down here. And we'll actually get our goods. <laughs> oh, that was a little bit stupid of me. All right, good. We'll come up here and boop, plant that right there. Nice. And through here, we want to come up this away. And we're going to go back. We're going to install these smelters. And then we're going to make a trip to the other side of the map. We're going to sell our goods, probably on the way, at a jeweler, quite potentially. And right after we sell our goods, we are probably going to go and get ourselves some logic compressor units so that we can consolidate all of our other things. I think it might also work for the sandstone, for the hard stone, that we don't really know what to do with. Other than just, you know, putting it back into the machine. But I think that's probably going to be the way. Okay, good. I don't know if there's a way to kind of like dump out from the logic compressors, a very specific amount without getting really deep into the math, into the math side of logic. Okay, good. So back at the base, we are going to dump all of these smelters down right where we need them, which is going to be right behind us here. Get our shopping cart out. Please stop moving. <laughs> okay, so this one needs to go right here. Excellent. Probably going to put a little platform underneath this as well so that we can kind of like see what we're doing. Put that there, put that there. Yeah, that's definitely the right orientation. Awesome, we have automated ores. Now we just need to automate the gems, which is going to be a massive pain in the ass, I think. Now, can we take a gem and can we just drop it on the gem cutter? Will it actually do it? Will it actually cut the gems? Where's the gem cutter? There it is. So if I put this on here, boop. no, what if it touches? Nope. <laughs> okay. It doesn't actually, doesn't actually chop and change the gems whatsoever. Uh, we'll stick that there. Should probably get a little filter on here that stops the tracks too, but we don't need to do that just yet. Okay. Let's go and find ourselves a little bit of logic. Put that down there. So we need to look at the map. We are not actually right there where the icon is telling us to go. We need to go all the way over here. I'm pretty sure that is where the logic stuff is being sold. Unless it's over here at the Lumberton Harbour. Again, I wouldn't know. We are literally on the other side of the map, so 
Let's just get in here. We'll make sure we've got a bucket in the back for the fuel. We do have a bucket in the back for fuel. Beautiful. Okay, now we are going to go all the way to the other end of the map and hopefully get ourselves enough gem compressor units. So, we could probably save a bit of money. We could cable it up. I don't really think it's completely necessary to cable it up. We also probably should have repaired our water filter hooks while we were back at base. But again, like, it's not much of a loss of profit, especially since we don't actually have all of the infrastructure we want set up in the first place. We are generating ores, of course, but not a huge amount. My God, it's so hot here. I've got a fan blowing on me right now, and it's still way too hot. I've got to take my shoes off. I don't want to get trench foot. Get trench foot from this heat. Okay, good. We have uh, come off the road, which is absolutely fine. It's not too bad. Now let's come all the way up here. And we'll do a little bit of off-roading, just to get to the other side of this here ravine. And on the other side of this ravine, we are going to try and find the road. Because we need the road. Pardon? Do you have an AC? Oh, right. Uh, sorry, it was kind of hard to read the upside-down question mark there. Uh, it's not really AC. It's just kind of like a, a little fan. We don't have AC where I live. Uh, AC is actually not that common here in New Zealand, especially down the South Island, because usually it's below freezing. Usually our weather is literally below freezing. We are sub-Antarctic, as well as being subtropical, which is just a, a weird mix of, of weather. It creates a lot of nasty weather. So yeah, usually frozen where I live. Uh, the weather's had a huge paradigm shift about two days ago. And now everybody's all sunburnt and pissed off because it's too hot. There's no winning. There's no winning here where I live. Okay. I'm just going to ah, sit on myself. There we go. Nice. Okay, now that we are focusing on the road, probably should just refuel the truck next time we see a lava source. Probably a bit too far away. We want to go down here. We want to go way down here so that we can sell, but we didn't actually bring the things to sell. Okay. Never mind. It would have been hard to do so anyway. So probably not the worst thing in the world. Lol, sunburnt. Yeah, everyone gets sunburnt. Everybody kind of like sees a sunny day and they're all like, oh, okay, I'll go outside for five minutes. And then because we've got a hole above our ozone layer here in Dunedin, New Zealand, nobody realizes that they're burnt until they get home and they realize that they are the color of a lobster. Like a, a literal deep red kind of burns. We got some nasty ones here. I went out once for about an hour, and I ended up getting second-degree burns across my face and chest. That was a weird learning experience. Okay, I'm going to go over here to refuel the truck, because it should be basically empty very, very shortly. I'll just park in here. I'll park in the lava. What is the harm? Okay, good. Where's that bucket? There it is. Go ahead, grab this, and we want to go up. Up, up. Come on. Come on, hydrogen here. Good. And dump it in there. I don't think that actually added to the lava pool, which is pretty funny. Okay. Maybe we can jump up here. Why are the truck mechanics and the clipping on the truck so fiddly? It's functionally very annoying. And I'm not entirely sure if it's really fair on the player to have to literally parkour up a truck to be able to fuel it. I suppose it gives you something to do, but come on, at what cost, right? Okay, we'll get another bucket of lava. And I think as a preventative measure, after we fill this truck up, we're probably just going to get another bucket of lava. Uh, almost. Just we have it on hand, in case we actually do run out. Then we can kind of make a dash to uh, some kind of refueling station, which shouldn't be too far away. It'd just be annoying to get if we didn't already have the bucket of lava. Good. Excellent. That's that done and dusted. Let's go over to the Logic store and we'll see if we can't buy ourselves something to tide us over. Just something. Just anything to tide us over. How tough to walk in raw lava? Well, it's, it's easier than walking in processed lava, which I've never actually seen before. Like artificial lava. I suppose you could just call molten ores magma of some sort, but... You know, I'm not an expert on walking in lava. There's just no, like, health pull in this game. I, I think that's why. Okay, so we can't go over that way. I actually already tried once before. 
And the game punished us by uh, getting the entire truck stuck. Try and just skirt up the cereal bowl here. Very good. Come over this hill. And we'll roll the car, obviously. <laughs> the driving is so jank in this game. It always has been. Always will be. Okay. Now, when we get all of the rest of this set up, we are basically going to go around and try and make a sprint for all of the achievements. I think that's going to be the way. Shout it out, Post. All right. Thank you, Terrain, for knocking my car into the ocean. And then also, thank you for saving the car from being knocked into the ocean. Uh, good. I'll try and back in here so we can get the shopping cart in here very easily. So, what we need to do is... We need to get a bunch of logic stuff, don't we? We probably need just compressors. Logic destroyer would be handy. Logic smelter, useless. Functionally useless. Logic counter, also functionally useless. What is this? A logic lamp? That could be handy. A little bit of light. What else we got? A logic content reader? Don't know what that does. Logic durability reader? We actually need a bunch of those. A logic weight reader? Useless. Where are the auto repair items? What the hell? They're supposed to be kind of like a... A spanner hurtling unit. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so we're going to need a bunch of these. These, unfortunately, are incredibly expensive. That's going to cost us six grand just for the logic spanner hurtling units. A little bit expensive. Where's the logic compressor? That's the only thing we came here for. Logic destroyer. Logic magnet. Logic smelter. Nothing. Logic lamp. Light hooks. Reader display. Diode hooks. Where is the compressor? What? Seriously? There is no logic compressor. You are taking the piss, surely. The only reason we came out here. Oh my god. Ah, buy one lamp for good measure. Yeah, we're also going to need a bunch of cables to hook it in as well. We'll get a single lamp. That way we know when everything is kind of like functioning. Actually, we don't want to put it on there, do we? We want to pay for it first. 342 bucks, Jesus. My god, what the hell is this thing made of? Core stone? Probably unsurprising if it is. All right, we got one lamp. Now that we've got this, we also need a single lever and we're gonna need a bunch of these cables as well. Logic destroyer. Where the hell is it? That is so weird. Okay, we may have to go somewhere else. We could try for Moats Island, but I'm not entirely sure whether or not we have to pay for the transit there. There's got to be another logic store, right? There has to be another logic store. Because we need these gem compressors. I suppose we could just dump them into a bucket for now. In fact, let's just do that. Let, let's just have all of the gem compressors. Just, we won't have them yet. We'll just have all of the splitters dumping all of the gems into buckets. And then once we get our compressors, eventually when we find them, I think at that point, we'll start thinking about kind of processing them with automation. But it as it currently stands, we're probably not going to get too many raw gems. Right. So I think to do this, we'll need a few concrete platforms, which is not so hard to get. We can definitely buy those. They're only 20 bucks each for the really big ones. And we're also going to need a couple of other things. Going to need a few buckets, five buckets specifically. That's not where we want to go. That is a dig site. We want to go to the town. We want to go to the town, we want to start buying things, don't we? I think that maybe the logic compressor units would be tied to the tier 2 store, potentially. We'll go down here anyway, because I seem to remember there was a store of some sort back at the area that we kind of arrive at in the first place. But I'm not entirely sure whether or not that was a logic store. I don't think it was. I think it was something completely different. I think it was just a normal store, which... Again, would benefit us because we just need a few buckets to replace them regardless. Okay. So through here. Basically just ignoring all of that and coming straight down here. Ah, there is actually a store right over here with bare necessities. Like very, very bare bones necessities. What is that? Funnel. Magnet on a stick. We're actually going to buy one of these because they're really handy and we don't have one for some reason. Boop. We'll get our shopping cart. We'll get our shopping cart out. We'll load it up. Thanks for your Where business. the hell is my shopping cart? Oh, I must have left it back at the logic place. Oh, well. <laughs> we can always get another one from the store. Okay, we need the magnet on a stick. Let's go ahead and get ourselves our money from the back of the car. We'll put it in our 
Money bucket. Good. So we need five of these pans. One, two, three, and four, and five. And we also need one of those hardstone converters. We're gonna need five of these concrete floors. We should probably maybe just load them up into the back of the truck instead of stacking them up at the store like this. Uh, get a third one, because they clip. They clip into everything and it trips us over. Another one of these. We'll back in the truck and then we'll load it up like that. Two. And a third one will complete how many we need. Perfect. Now we also need a construction hammer so that we don't accidentally pick up our smelters, because that is such a pain in the ass. Logic keypad, hardstone refiner. I'm definitely going to get one of these, because we didn't bring our other one from the first dig site. And if we've got one of those, we're probably also going to need... It needs to be filtered in with lava. Ah, that might be a problem, actually. And it also needs a lever of some sort, or even like a keypad. We'll just get a keypad. Should be fine. We can pipe in some lava from beneath. That's also fine. Done. They look like solid safes. They are kind of like solid safes, except you stick a bucket on them and anyone can loot from it. Uh, we're probably also going to need some scales, realistically. So this is pretty much all we need for a very, very crude version of what we are getting. Hand sorter. No, we don't want that. Magnifying glass. Probably should have one of these, realistically. And a lot of lava pipes. There's a bed here. Logic gem compressor. Okay, that's what we needed. It was here all along. Great. What are we spending? 1.5k? Okay, I'll take it. We'll get our car and I'll kind of like try and back it in from behind. We will get the logic gem compressors, I think. We won't use those buckets necessarily. We'll just use those logic gem compressors. Okay, good. Back in the truck there. Now we'll load it up. I know the back of the truck is a bit of a mess, but what builder's car is, is not complete without wanton destruction all over the back seat. Like a... Like a dog was left alone in the car for 12 hours with the window up. Huh? It got really, really hot, and so they started chewing all of the interior. Huh? Scales. Drop these scales here. Drop this logic keypad here. Probably don't need those buckets if we're just going to get lots and lots of logic items then. How much have we got? 13,000. Good. Okay, we'll get five of these. Un. De. Toi. 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 Good. Whatever four is in French. And five. I don't, also don't know what that is in French. Drop these onto the back of the truck here. Two and three and four. Why are they all falling over? And five. What the hell? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me, but oh well. Okay, so we got the bare minimum of what we need. We'll just use the logic. Oh, damn it. I don't think we paid for any of them. Bugger. Oh well. We only needed the logic uh, items, right? So if we get back in here, we also left our money behind too. I'll just jump onto the truck and we'll throw them into the back. We'll throw them into the back from up top side. Like this. I can't reach it. Oh no. Oh no, that's embarrassing. Ah, well. Okay, let's go ahead and just throw these one by one on the back here. One, two. Why are these falling off? And three, please don't fall off. And four, please don't fall off. And five, see how long it takes to buy things when you don't have a shopping cart with you? 825 buckery booze, done. We are left with 13 grand, which is actually still heaps. You didn't pay? Yeah, yeah, I, fi I figured. I figured we didn't pay. Okay, we'll come out here. I'm surprised your poop emoji uh, isn't in a funny font as well. I was expecting it to be a little bit more demonic. I was kind of, Expecting something a little bit different than just a poo. Which I guess you could say whenever you um, gamble on a fart. You forgot your buckets? Yeah, we don't need them anymore because we found the logic compressor units. So we can just use those as buckets. And as soon as we plug them in, they're basically going to function as if, you know, they were all functioning all along. We just need cabling now. The only thing we really need is... Uh, Spanner hurtling units, logic durability readers, a couple of uh, hooks that go onto the cables, and the cables themselves. The cables themselves, they shouldn't be terribly expensive, but we're going to need a heap of them anyway. I'll get like a, a special shopping cart just to just to keep all the cables in. Because we don't want to have to drive across this map over and over and over again to get more and more cables like we've been doing with the conveyor system. 
which has been a little bit fiddly, but it's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's simply because the village we're buying them from is really, really close by, so I don't feel terrible about it. Okay, we should be really close to that dig site just over the hill here. I'm going to make a mad dash for this ravine. We'll try and get back to base as fast as possible. Ah, here's that dig site I was talking about. Yep, angle our car so that we land on all fours instead of just rolling off into the sunset. Nice. And come all the way down here. This is going to be a significantly bigger upgrade from the garbage sorting system we had at the first base. Which is literally just... It just served to dump all of our stuff all over the ground. All of the stuff we didn't want. Then we'd spend a, a good five minutes cleaning that up. That was how we sorted it before. So let's get that out of our heads. Okay, through here, there is a bridge we are going to cross. Actually, let's just roll our car over. Yep, okay. Perfect. Love it. I forgot that I'm still in my undies. I'm literally wearing underpants. <laughs> nice little heart-shaped undies. Look at that. That's the, that's the dress of an engineer who works with heavy machinery and hot lava. What else would you wear? It's hot. It's hot. What else would you wear? I would just wear that. I'd just wear underpants. I'd probably get several injuries and not be able to work any longer than a month, but I'd wear that. Hello again. Hey there, face in. How are you doing today? Okay. We are going to take all of this crap now, and we're just going to try and dump it onto the sorting system as best as we can. Maybe we will need a, a funnel? for every one of these little gem compressor units, but we should be absolutely fine and dandy regardless. Okay, good, put that there. Okay, let's run these one by one over here. This is probably huh? not the best thing in the world. Uh, which way do we want this? That's a hand sorting unit. Oh my God, we got the wrong units. Ah! <laughs> I'm doing good. How about you? Uh, absolutely perfect. I'm a little bit frustrated. We just bought the wrong sorting units. But such is life, I suppose. Put these here. Maybe we'll trip over them every time we come back here. Okay, what else do we get? We got a bunch of other stuff. We got a light. We got some scales, which we'll definitely need. We'll put these over here. We got the logic pad that's going to go on the side of the hardstone refinery. Good. And the hardstone refinery... I'm going to stick it round about here, I think. Which way is the output, though? Like that? Yep, that's definitely output. So all the hardstone should dump into here. We've got a logic pad right here that's going to serve us well. We'll pipe in lava from beneath, and that should be a fully sustainable ecosystem. Get all these pipes out of the way, I think. And now I'm going to go ahead and stick down a single one of these concrete platforms with the round side up, very good. Just so that we have all of this dumping onto a bucket, because we are gonna need to do that. Done. Where is it? Where is the logic uh, pad? We need a logic keypad. Where'd I stick it? Did I put it over here? No, I did not. <laughs> Where did I put it? Oh no. Is it over here? Yes, there it is. Good, found it. Excellent. Maybe a dress? Okay, flip that the right way around. So this should function. If I punch in 9999, is that going to change it? Yep, okay, so that's just going to take in bricks. Excellent. Let's go all the way back because we also need all of the things that we just tried to buy. Not the buckets specifically, but we definitely need the gem compressors. We also left all of our money back at that other base. And we won't be able to do... No, it didn't. We took the money with us. I see it in the back of the truck. Okay, back we go. We bought the wrong thing, but that's absolutely fine. A little bit of caveat empty door. Buyer beware. Well, buyer's remorse, more specifically. And we're going back to remedy the situation. Don't want to hit that brazier. Okay, good. I still love this volcano. Every time I play this game, I forget that there's a giant volcano in the middle of the sky. I love that so much. It's so nice. It's nice when games stick in specific landmarks that you can always see at any given time. Like Elden Ring. Elden Ring's really, really fun. Simply because if you see somewhere, it's an area. 
it's it's just an area you can go to. I love that so much. Okay, we'll go through the city this time. We'll take the scenic route. Although the scenic route is actually a bit of a pit. <laughs> Hideous. I don't know why anybody would live here. Okay, good. Come through here. We'll go around all of this chaff. And then we'll go up here. And this should take us on a straight shot back to the area where we are supposed to buy the... Oh, the gem compressors. And then we can turn the sorting system on. And after that, we'll be able to actually go around and start doing all those achievements I was just talking about. Okay, we'll come all the way through here. Get down this little lane. And we're going to hang our left. A little bit of a shame that we forgot exactly what we were doing. And we ended up buying the wrong thing. But what are you going to do, honestly? Okay, excellent. So through here, I'm just going to take a shortcut. Because not only is it more flat than the road, it's also faster. Good. And around here. We're almost there. We're almost there. Honestly, traversing the map in this game, once you have vehicles, is probably not as tedious as I keep giving it credit for. I'm just impatient. Ironically. Because I'm actually a very patient person. Okay. So, we want to come around this corner here. And we want to back the truck in to here. Good. Now, I don't know why we went with those hand sorters, because I'm pretty sure that we can actually reach the one we want from the back of the truck now. Okay, so we go up here. We go up here. Or we could just fall over. Good. These things. We need lots and lots of these things. Whoops. I'll piss off. <laughs> oh, my God. Climbing this truck is such a pain. Okay. Two... And three, and four, and five. Okay, I'm going to get another one, just in case the first one didn't go through. We will actually purchase it. Damn, that was actually very expensive. And now we're going to go through. We're done. We're done here. We're never coming back to this area. Unless there's a Chivo. Hard to say. Very hard to say. So, around this brazier. Good. I don't know what the hell the truck is doing. It's got a mind of its own, this thing. I wonder if it just drives itself every now and then. Probably. It's like a Tesla. A really crude Tesla that doesn't have any electrics in it whatsoever. Despite the fact that logic is a, uh, a very prevalent part of the game. I wonder why there aren't, like, electrical cars that you can just, like... where well, you can take the car and drive it onto a charge pad. Kind of weird. Really weird, actually, now that I think about it. You know, you just leave it on a charge pad and it charges over time. Something like that? Using magnetic induction or something like that? I'd say. Why is that not even in the game? There are so many vehicles. That one would be... You could literally recycle the skin from this. Just make it yellow or something. Oh, well, what do I know? I'm not the game developer. For as many of them as there are. Okay, down here... Good. I'm going to avoid going across the lava field because it is a little bit bumpy. We'll just go through town here. We've already wasted half a tank of lava, which is a renewable resource, so I don't suppose it's a waste anyway. Okay, come down here. And we'll just keep on following this road because it definitely takes us to where we need to go. Excellent. Okay. Still very scenic. I think this area, this DLC area, is probably better than the base game. Gotta be said, it's probably better than the base game. I just like it more. I like it more than I do the base game. Okay. Up this road right here. And I'm gonna keep following along. So, by the end of the session, I'm hoping to have bought every single plot of land. Which is not actually as hard as it sounds, because here in... The DLC, all of the land costs around about five grand, and back in the base game, it's still not even that expensive, realistically. We've got way more money in the base game than the value of the lands all put together. By a long shot. Okay, good, got all this stuff. Be nice if we could, like, get a, a scrapyard as well, built on our base, so we can just scrap things at base, and we don't have to drive them to a scrapper. Okay, so... Gotta plug these in from... Sideways has to be lava. Back end has to be piping. And this one also has to be lava. 
We could actually pipe lava in one block beneath where we're going to set up these compressors. And then we can set up the other thing, the water itself, electricity. Okay, I'll put that there. So that'll function as intended. And these other ones in the back of the truck I almost just stuck hand sorters down there. They would have just thrown resources all over the place. Uh, let's put this all the way up there. There we go. Stack that up, make it nice and clean. Get this one here. This one can go right there. Nice. Need maybe two more? One more? I think we did actually get six, but that's fine. We need two more. Good. One there. And one more. Or two more. Two more is also fine. Stick this one right here. Now, everything that has not been filtered off should go into this hardstone unit. And the only other thing that we haven't created a sorter for is, in fact, this hardstone unit. And that should just dump these bricks into this bucket right here. Whenever they get to the maximum weight, which is awesome. Now, all we need to do is get some of these gems polished so that we can stick them in the sorting system. All right. We got emerald, we got ruby, we probably want to just dump them here, turn the sorting system on and off, and then we want to rip everything back out. What's this? Iron ore. No, that's not what we want. Maybe we just turn this on for a wee bit. Let's just turn this on. Okay, a couple of clumps of things. Put this one in... No, actually, it's not sticking in there. Uh, let's need to get around here. Let's go ahead and actually fix this water filter unit. Right there. That one's probably low as well, so let's go ahead and fix it. Yep. <laughs> okay, another one just broke. That's funny. Done. So, now that those machines are all running, we need to stick some ice into the ice machine. Where do I put it? There it is. Good. And this goes in there. Hello, game. Okay, that did nothing, apparently. Let's get some more ice, I suppose. Did that work? No, it didn't. Okay, what about this one? There we go. Okay, okay, okay. A little bit of frame drop, but that's absolutely fine. Okay, conveyor stopped again. I'm going to grab this one. There we go. Done. Ah! Did we clog it up? No. No, we... Oh, my God. The frame drop. Ah! Okay, excellent. I'm glad that works, actually. So we can probably actually turn this on now. And the sorting system will crash the game. Oh, my God. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for them all to get up to the topmost lift. And then we're going to go ahead and unplug it. So that we can get all those cut gems. I think that'd be a really good idea. Yuck! Oh, my God. This looks revolting. It's also slow. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and turn this off really quickly. And the reason for that is I'm going to go ahead and try and replace this machine right here with a bucket. Just a bland-ass bucket. Because we won't get all the gems from this, don't we? So if it's dumping into the hardstone thingy, it's not really going to be all that useful to us. Put that there, maybe. Good. Okay, I'm happy with that. So once this gets all the way to the top, we should have all the gems that we need to finish off the sorting system. All right, let's go up here on our three frames a second. Excellent. And we'll just wait. Hopefully these are all going to land. We're about to see it. We're about to see it start. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hope we don't miss it because of the frames. We missed it because of the frames. That's embarrassing. Okay, that's alleviated a little bit of the frame. Oh, it was all the iron that was the issue. Okay, quite a bit of cloudium. A lot of core stone, too. It's nice to see. Okay. Oh, piss off. No shot. No shot. Okay, fine. Let's go ahead and drop this here. And uh, Sapphire is the next rarest. Let's go ahead and just drop this one here. And the emeralds are also pretty rare, so we'll go ahead and drop them there. I forgot that if you don't have anything on the splitters, they just kind of like guess. What the hell is that? A diamond! Perfect. 
So diamond is actually the rarest of all of them. We'll stick them right at the end here. And now we just need a single onyx, which is the black one. If I remember right. I don't see anything that would lead me to believe we have onyx. We do have a magnet on a stick, though, so we could probably just use that. Where are you? Magnet? There it is. Good. We'll use this magnet on a stick, yep. We'll get everything off of this heinous, disgusting area that we've destroyed. Yuck. Absolutely revolting. There we go. Go ahead and just drop that on the conveyor belt. Sure, done. And I still don't really see any onyx there. Good. Sapphires are all being filtered in. Emeralds are all being filtered in. Great. Still no onyx. Still not seeing any onyx. All I'm seeing is a gigantic mess. Hmm. A little bit weird. A little bit weird that there's no onyx here. Like flat out, just zero onyx. Okay, now that we have all of that kind of set up, let's just go ahead and put an emerald on the second sorting system as well. Because we know no emeralds are going to actually get through this. Okay, good. Now, we definitely didn't get an onyx out of this. Another hardstone coming in. I'm just going to go ahead and replace this with the hardstone item. And hopefully the onyx... Oh, there's an onyx literally right there. Great. So we've made a mess. And we're going to keep on making a, a bit of a mess until we actually get this sorted. But it should be absolutely fine and dandy. Please? Okay, good. Put that there. Grab this emerald. I don't know, throw it on the conveyor belt right there or something. Nice. So it goes into the right place. Center this a little bit better. Done. Okay. Now I'm going to claw clear all raw resources. Clear. Okay. That didn't work as well as I was hoping, to be quite honest. We've still made a gigantic mess, which I'm going to sort out later. I don't think that's a now problem, to be quite honest. Okay. Let's put that there. I don't know if it's actually going to munch anything without access to the lava. Yes. Yes, tricky, 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 tricky. I think we're actually going to have to take the logic cables and wire these underneath all of these logic compressors because it seems like the lava just has to go out the back here. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. But we'll do that later. I think. Okay, so now that we've got a very, very basic sorting system set up, we've also got all of these ores, which is fantastic. I actually love that. Let's go ahead and stick the scale up literally anywhere. I don't really care where. Maybe here? Yep, perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the machine requirements. Okay, we've got to stack these somewhere as well. Oops. Put that there. Sure, why not? Put that there. Put that there. I'm going to stack these up there. Good. Okay, so... But this grinder, not necessary. We don't actually want another grinder. We have a grinder and it, it works fine. So for this machine right here, we need 500 iron, 100 clautium. 500 iron, 100 clautium. Let's see if we've got that. Uh, this is clautium. Excellent. 100. We need 100. We have 63. So we don't have enough for another machine just yet. We probably just leave the machine ticking along. And we should be fine regardless. Okay, let's just stick these back on the conveyor. Because we are basically just using these as a bucket now. These gem compressors. Okay, good. We'll wire it in soon. I don't think we'll worry too much, though. Excellent. Put that there. Put this green one there. Actually, they have to go further behind the chain, don't they? Okay, kind of weird that we can't just drop them straight onto the conveyor belt. Uh, how about instead, we just move the ones that are, whoops, a little bit more expensive ahead of what they, where they need to be. There was another red one in here, I saw it. There it is. Hidden. Hidden from prying eyes. All right, good. Put that one there. A lot of emeralds all over the place, honestly. Oh, this is clogging up. That ain't good. Okay. Maybe we have to hook this in faster than we thought. Or maybe we don't. Maybe we don't have to hook it in faster than we thought. All right. This is supposed to be onyx, right? Why did I put a ruby in there? This is supposed to be the ruby. Is it? No, that's emerald. 
the hell is the ruby? Where is the ruby? Oh, we don't have a ruby sorter. So let's go ahead. Why don't we put an emerald on this one then? Go ahead, drop that there. We will drop this ruby right here. Good. So that's sorting out now. Everything should be functioning as more or less intended. Okay, looks good. That doesn't look very good. Should probably go ahead and get the magnet on a stick for this one. Just kind of like filter it all in there. And then we'll pick all the emeralds out and just throw them on the ground because I don't want them in there. And a few emeralds missing is not that bad. It's not the end of the world. Okay, good. Get all these, throw those on the ground as well. So which one's this one? This is rubies. Go ahead and throw all these yucky little green ones on the ground there. Got a ruby there, perfect. What's this one? This one is supposed to be onyx. Why is there a ruby in there? Who cares? Onyx, right there. And this one's diamonds. I think there's a sapphire in there. Okay, who cares? Uh, good. And that one is all fine and dandy as well. Good. Let's go ahead and grab all of these. And we'll try and stick them back onto the sorting system. If we can. If we leave a couple behind, that's absolutely fine. I just don't like waste. I'm not a wasteful person. So I'm going to... Whoops. Missed a couple of them. Come up here. Get them all up. And drop them right there. Boop. Okay, good. That should filter them all off exactly where they need to go. Beautiful. It's functioning exactly as I wanted it to. Nice. That looks good. Okay. I'm very happy about this now. So let's go ahead and drop the magnet on a stick. And we'll start polishing off some of the Chivos for this game. So there's a couple that I do want to polish off sooner rather than later. And that's going to be... So we need money. We need lots and lots of money, first and foremost, I think. If we get lots and lots of money, we should be in a very, very good spot. Uh, we need to cut 50 gemstones by hand, and we need to use a logic TNT barrel, which we can literally do probably right this second, quite awesomely. So let's go ahead and get a shopping cart on the back of our truck. If we can find one. Ah, never mind. We'll just, we'll just buy one. We can afford it. And I'm also going to pour out all of the gold. We're getting all of the gold, and we are going to sell it at a jeweler's. We'll see how much money we get for this one gold bar here. Should be pretty good. Whoops. Uh, we're going to go back to the city now. We're also probably going to polish off all of the tier 2 and tier 3 stores if we can afford to do so. Should be easy enough. Should be easy enough. Yeah, we'll come around here. And we'll go back to the town. I'm not going to get too distracted by anything. We'll get some TNT at the original place that we spawned in at. And that'll be one of the achievements done and dusted. And then I'll keep on cleaning up sort of like the low-hanging fruit achievements, I suppose. That's probably going to be the, the best way through, right? About to bring up my streaming software. Good. Excellent. Okay, we'll bust out of here. Excellent. I'm going to take some mental notes while we're in the town. Because in the town, there are a couple of things that we can do. Don't know if they're tied to achievements, but... There are a couple of items that we can build. For example, this shop right here is a tier 2 store. We need 700 hardstone. That's pretty crazy. We need 800 iron bars. We probably have that. And we already have 40 clautium as well. So we can actually make that now. But we'll come back for it. We kind of want to get the other things out of the way first. Like the TNT barrel. That's, that's just going to be an easy no-brainer to kind of get. Is there any TNT here? No, I don't think so. There is one at the village that's right next to our base. So I think we'll go there. I think we'll definitely go there. We'll definitely go there. We'll go and get ourselves exactly what we need. And then we'll blow up a hole. Okay, good. We'll come all the way through here next. And then we'll just sell this gold bar. We'll see exactly what we have to do after that. Man, it is really hot here. Holy hell. I'm probably going to have to take a break for the first time in my stream's history. Have a wee break. Get rid of some of the heat stroke. Get a nice icy water. Something like that. And if you guys haven't drunk at home, you might want to go have a glass of water yourself because I can almost guarantee you haven't had one today. Stay hydrated. Stay fit. 
Okay, so come down here. Where is it? There is supposed to be a jeweler around here. I think from memory it's to our immediate left, but it's been a wee while since we've actually sold anything there, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. I knew exactly where it was. There's also a stock market right behind him as well, which is pretty funny. What is it? What are they buying? They're buying tools. Weapons, not tools. Okay, we'll take this gold bar. How much for this? That's 27,000 bucks. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, we'll throw this on the ground and consolidate our money that we already have into 35,000 buckery booze. That's pretty damn good. Excellent. So, I'll see if there's TNT at this store here. If there is, we'll buy some. I won't be too surprised if there's not, though. I don't see any. Right off rip. I don't actually see any. I see a lot of pipes. I see a lot of kind of like very basic automation stuff, but I'm not seeing any TNT. So we're probably going to have to go to the village, aren't we? Probably going to have to get ourselves a grinding wheel as well to cut 50 gemstones by hand. Whoops, I've got to pay for it. Maybe we should actually pay for it. How clumsy of me. Uh, that's not what we want. We'll get this here. We'll grab the money off the back of the truck here. Nice. Grab that right there, and we'll throw it into our buy bucket. Right there. Done. Huh? <laughs> okay, we missed completely. There we go. So, now that we got that, we can leave this place. We don't need to come back. And we should be golden. Probably need to get the hardstone piped in as well with the lava. Just so that we actually have access to the hardstone. Because we are going to need it for the building materials, I think. If we don't, if we don't do that, we're probably going to be caught with our pants down later on in the game. In fact, we could probably just rush that now. Okay, TNT is by the village. We'll go there for that. We should be able to get a lever at the logic place. We need a lot of stuff at the logic place, though, to be quite honest. We'll at least pipe in the lava. We'll, we'll pipe in a significant portion of the machinery topside with the, the gem compressors and such. That probably is actually a really good idea. That'll reduce some of the lag on the game. And we should probably just be able to line it and straight from beneath, right? We could get a nice network of lava pipes. And with that network of lava pipes, we'll pipe in all that machinery. We just need to buy the lava pipes. No, we don't, actually. We probably have enough lava pipes in the shopping cart that we filled up with lava pipes. Hopefully, we filled it up with lava pipes. If we didn't, we're probably just going to have to buy some more. They're not terribly expensive, actually. Now that I think about it. Like, in the grand scheme of things, a, a little bit of infrastructure builds money at an alarming rate. <laughs> okay. So, tier 1 store is made. Probably right after we get all of this set up, we're just going to rush that tier 2 store as well. And then we're going to see what's for sale, because it could be some real goodies. Could be some real goodies. Could be some crap stuff in there, but... You know, the real goodies is what we're after. I don't even know uh, what is being sold in that, in that shop, honestly. I haven't played the DLC in my spare time whatsoever. But yeah, I'm kind of on like a um, a bit of a mission to polish off this game so that I can start a couple of other games. Fallout London looks like a long play that I, I really, really want to get into. Looks really, really fun. And I probably also want to check out Traveler's Rest because that's had a billion updates since I last played it. What a game that is. So many people have... I've completely missed the gem that is Traveler's Rest. It's basically, how would I call it? Stardew Tycoon, I guess you could call it. You basically run a tavern. It's a shop simulator. Unlike Stardew Valley, which is just farming. Very, very crude and rudimentary farming. Okay. We didn't get our TNT. We could probably just go and get it. It's not that far away. It's just at the village this way. Hidden behind that tree. There it is. Off in the distance. We all see it. We all see it. I don't need to tell anybody else that it's there. Okay, we're stuck here. All right, a little bit obnoxious that we're stuck on this tiny little hill. Please, game? Okay, it functioned. What the hell was that? There was something in the water there, wasn't there? Oh no, I think it was just the weird bone looking thing on the back of my wheel on the left side. I don't know what it was. Probably shouldn't complain. Okay. So, we come up here. Maybe the T2 store is logic. Maybe that's the thing. That'd be nice, actually. Okay, so, TNT should be around here somewhere. Or maybe not. 
Maybe there was no TNT here. But I can't remember where to get it. I know where to get it in the base game, though. I got the goods if you got the cash. Okay. Oh, there's a place we can scrap things as well. That's also an achievement. We've never scrapped anything. And we've got this extra logic gem compressor. So I'm going to go ahead knowing that it probably won't work for the hearthstone. I'm just going to dump it here and we're going to scrap it. Boop. Done. One man's trash is another man's hot trash. Who's a scrapyard? We've got another achievement. Nice. Okay, we'll come around here. And we'll go back home empty-handed, but one achievement fewer to get, which is awesome. It's still progress. Uh, I'm going to come up this little lump right here. Excellent. And we'll just make a straight dash to our dig site. Good. Very good. Now, I kind of remember exactly what we needed as well. We needed 40 core stone, and we needed 100 iron? And like 800 of the hardstone as well. Just so we can get the tier 2 store. We'll see how much we've actually got. So that is not what we want. Core stone. See how much of this we've got. How much of this? We've got 130 kilos of it. That is more than enough, honestly. That is so much. Let's go ahead and just drop that back into the bucket. And we probably want to get ourselves some iron too. We've probably got heaps of iron, honestly. What have we got? Yep, we've got 2,000 kilograms of iron. Good, let's drop that back in there. Perfect. Okay, now that we've done that, let's just, let's hook in these pipes. We'll get some of these off the back of the truck as well. Okay, come around here. So that's got to be a T-junction. That has to be a straight pipe right there. And we're probably just going to line it in from beneath. Get that one. I'm not going to worry about the pipe cart too much. Just want to get all these piped in first. I don't know if we can also cork these in. Probably should have grabbed a couple of corks while we were at a shop. But Oh, perfect. Junction. Nice. Take this junction. We'll stick this one right there. This one should probably also be a junction so we can pipe it in from beneath. Because there's not actually anywhere else where we can stick a junction. We'll do that. We'll definitely do that. And that's an elbow. We're going to need that eventually. We've got a straight pipe. Good, and we got another straight pipe here. Perfect. Nice. I'm stuck. I got stuck in the car. So I'm thinking with the polished 50 gems by hand, we could probably actually just have something direct. We will take off the gem polisher, and then we'll just have all of the gems into a bucket right at the end there. And that should be golden for us. Get this one elbow right here. Boing. And we'll plug that in like that. Good. That's another one set up. The straight pipe here. Probably go in from beneath from this way. Actually, we are very, very far away from any lava source, aren't we? It'd probably be better just to pipe in from beneath here. Where is the lava source? It is relatively beneath us here. So if I take this off and I make that one into a junction, like this junction here, then we'll elbow in from beneath facing from this way. Like so. Good. Now we need to dig basically a straight down, right? Where is the pickaxe? We need our pickaxe. A little picky wicky. Where'd it go? Pickaxe? There it is. Right at the bottom. Perfect. Okay, so we'll get this mined out here. I'm pretty sure that this is just a straight shot down into the lava right here. But it also could not be. There's only one way to know. And that's by actually finding out. Okay, we'll dig ourselves down into this hole as well. Basically, until we hit the limitation of this pickaxe right here. Oh, weird. We've hit, a, uh, we've hit a lump. We can actually crouch and look into the map, though. Oh, we are so close. Good. So we can just put some pipes leading straight into this right here. Nice. I like this. I actually really like this. Probably also do with maybe... Creating some kind of egress outside, but, you know, as it currently stands, we don't actually need it. Good. Dig all the way around here. Get a little bit more of a hole out from this side, just so we've got access to put the pipes down here as well. Excellent. Now, we probably actually, we can get our way with using an outtake pipe around here, can't we? Which I'm pretty sure we actually have around here somewhere. A single lava outtake pipe. Maybe it's on the truck. 
No, it is not. Okay, my mistake. Maybe there's one around here? In the pile of pipes? In the pipe pile? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we definitely have the elbow leaning down into there. We can just get a bunch of straight pipes all the way down into the hole. There. Good. I'll grab this one. There. Two. And three. Excellent. And four. Perfect. And now we probably want an elbow of some sort to go all the way down beneath. Facing out that way. But also... Yep, like that. I like that. Okay, where's that pickaxe? Because we need it again. Okay, that quick save just threw me off a little bit. Get back down underneath here. Okay, I can't. That's a shame. <laughs> a little embarrassing. Okay, we'll go all the way around our sorting system. And let's start digging straight down again. The Cardinal Minecraft Sin. And we want to pipe in basically... We can't do this. We can't just pipe in straight. We're going to have to have an elbow bend somewhere down here as well. Okay. Get rid of all of this around us. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, we are going to need an elbow of some sort right at the bottom of this. We could probably also get away with a bunch of straights leading down from where we are. Okay, good. Go all the way down to the bottom here. Get rid of that. Get rid of all of this. And then also give us ourselves an exit. I'm pretty sure that if we look that way... Yes. Actually, this is a big pit of lava. Maybe we won't be able to give ourselves an exit. But if we can get the lava pipe cart down south side... Actually, is the lava pipe cart down here? Yeah, it might be. Uh, we'll dig through here before we find out, I suppose. We'll leave it as a nice little surprise. Okay, good. Excellent. Dig out all of this crap that we don't want here because it's disgusting. Excellent. And now that we've got all of this out of the way, we can see if we've actually left the cart down here with the pipes we need. Probably not. I'm just going to come out and say it. We probably don't have the cart we need down south. Okay. Still again, only one way to know. And that's by mining all of this crap out. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Okay, we can now escape. There is a cart here. I don't think it's got the lava pipes on it, though, unfortunately. We'll see what it does have on it. It's probably got the repair kits, right? That would make the most sense. Okay, get rid of all of this. Nice. Okay, so there was no cart down here. That is good to know. But, but the thing is... We can still kind of pipe all of this down here from in this away if we bring the lava pipe cart down south side and then start filtering all of our crap into it. Okay, go get rid of all of this. We can actually get ourselves a nice clear walkway. Beautiful. We are also still going to need another outtake pipe, unfortunately. There's another thing we're going to need. I'll drop that right there. I wonder, do we still need to repair anything? No. Are these machines still working? They kind of are. Okay. Still getting a little bit turned around down here. Okay, there is a big pile of crap here. I wonder why the conveyor stopped working. Maybe it was the ice. The lack of ice in the ice machine. Okay, we'll throw that in there. A little bit of frame drop. Better now than later, though. And it stopped literally as soon as we needed it. Uh, boink. And there we go. The whole thing is now working. Damn, that is a big pile of ore. Love it. You love to see it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, there is a lava junction pipe here that I am, in fact, going to take with me on my way up top side so we can plug this into the logic system. Now, we do need to save up a bunch of gold simply so that we can actually afford to get the auto repair system up and running. Okay, need that straight to be... Right there, good. Alright, let's start firing in some of these lava pipes if we can. If we've got some more junctions, that'd be very handy. I wouldn't be too surprised if we need more. Oh! What happened to the frame rate? Oh! What happened? <laughs> I think the game just... I think the game just had a stroke. Ah, well. Sucks to be the game, huh? Good, okay, so... We're also building up heaps of ores on top of this thing, too, so... Maybe it would be a good idea to 
do it faster than not. Okay, good. So what do we need down here? We need probably a straight pipe and an elbow. So I'm just going to start throwing these down into the hole there as kind of like an axis. And a couple of straight pipes. I'll just run down this conveyor belts, I suppose. I mean, there's probably a better way of doing it, but as it currently stands, I don't really see it, what it is. Okay, really getting, really getting sandbagged down here. Uh, let's go, we can stick that there, and we're going to need to elbow in down from there as well. Ow, my feet, they burn. Let's fix that up so we're still generating ores and crap. Nice. Good, we'll come up here, we'll get this elbow, because we are going to need it. The real question is, where do we put it? Okay, good. I'm all the way through here. I'm struggling to see a little bit as well. Uh. Game? Okay. I don't think we can actually stick this where I want to stick this. We're probably going to have to mine it out a little bit. I'll put that there because we can elbow into it with the straight pipe. Uh, we need to pick some more of it. Let's get our pickaxe and we need to make a better egress for these pipes here. Get this one all nice and cleared out. Okay. I'm pretty confident that this is exactly what we need. And in here we are going to have an outtake pipe. From somewhere. I don't know where we're going to get an outtake pipe from. But we could probably just go back to the store and hope for the best, right? Okay, good. Get all of that out of the way. Mine some more of this out. Excellent. I mean, the more we do now, the less we do later. Okay, perfect. So, now we need another elbow. And we need another straight. Probably just throw it down that hole as well. Uh, up here, we will go. Elbow and a straight. That's all we need. For now. Oh, there's an elbow. Good, I'm going to throw this down into this hole. It wedged. Who's... Uh, let's try and place it then. Right there. And also the straight pipe can get placed way down there as well. Okay, maybe another straight. And we will go down manually and plug it in. We've almost got the lava pipe set out. We're still going to need a few more T-junctions to plug in the machinery. But until we get that done, we have basically the intake. Fine. Fine and dandy. All right, that goes there. Get this elbow right here, and we'll put it right there. Now we've got a straight, I'm going to stick that straight right here, for no reason other than that it was in the way. And now we need a single lava outtake pipe. We need a few things actually. We're going to need a cork, and I'm also going to mine out a little bit better access for the machinery. Now, the reason I wanted this to be kind of like so far recessed into the lever is it's got nothing to do with the pressure. It's so that we can stick a uh, valve hook right here and maybe turn off the logic the logic things that we have topside for whenever we need to. All right, let's go ahead and drop this into the corner there. Okay, we need a cork. We need a lava intake pipe. We need a cork and a lava intake pipe. Very good. And that's virtually it. That is, that is literally all we need. Oh, we also need some T-junctions. We need one, two, three T-junctions. We should get a bunch of them, actually. We'll just get a bunch of T-junctions. Uh, do I take a shopping cart? No. No. Oh, is that a T-junction? No, it's an elbow. Damn it. All right, we definitely need three more T-junctions. And that should be all of the lava basically set up. We'll get a few T-junctions, actually. They're, they are really handy to have. And it's not like we are going to need fewer of them in the future. We're actually going to need more of them. Okay, done. And then we're probably going to need some cabling as well to get all of the logic stuff powered up, which is going to be a bunch of T-junctions, a bunch of elbows, and a few straights, as well as a single lever, I imagine. And then that should be a fully automated process. Then all we have to worry about is actually repairing the water filter hooks, which, got to be said, is a bit of a pain in the ass. And it also costs lots of money. Lots and lots of money. It's also not space effective at all, whatsoever. In any way, shape, or form. Okay. We're almost back at the city. We'll also look for a TNT barrel, because we need one. Maybe it was at the logic place on the other side of the map. We have to go there anyway. 
here we are we need to go and get ourselves some lava pipes that would be a right turn here and then a straight shot all the way over to this guy's house that i've crashed into whoops watch me here all right just over here so i'm gonna back the truck in here and then we're gonna load up pipes just onto the back of the ute I'm not gonna worry too much about getting a shopping cart probably don't need it okay t-junction one two and three i have to pixel hunt a little bit for this and we'll get a few of these four five six because we're, we're gonna need a bunch anyway seven and eight a lava intake pipe and that's it that is literally it we just need a bunch of junctions and a lava intake pipe we're also going to need a couple of corks as well i think put that there because we do have the bleeding of water pressure and we're also going to get a valve hook while i'm reminded mm -hmm. of it nice okay we'll take our money 35 buckery booze Re sorry 35 thousand buckery booze and then we're going to buy all this stuff and now we are off okay i'm just going to confirm what i need for the other t2 machine because we can basically output that right this second what do we need we need uh what the hell does that say 700 hearthstone block 800 iron bar and 40 clautium bar not core stone we need clautium okay now i'm pretty sure we also get change every time we build one of these stores so let's just take all of what we've got and stick it in there right after we set up this machine that actually makes the hearthstone blocks because that's our only choke point that is why we are currently focusing on getting the sorting system up and running as soon as possible. Good. It's almost done, though. It's almost completely done. We just need some more logic gates and then some auto repair systems, which usually costs around about 20,000 buckery boos. But after we get those set up, we should be in a very good place just to go around the map and polish off a few achievements. Excellent. Almost back at base. We're almost out of fuel as well. Pretty crazy how fast this lava truck runs out of fuel. I don't know if it's got anything to do with the base game's water truck. But they're incredibly thirsty, aren't they? I've met girls in the club less thirsty than this. Okay. I'm around here. Not that I go clubbing anymore. Let's back it out here. And then we'll make a pile of these T-junctions. Oh, we've also got this gem polishing wheel right here. You can probably just stick there, I suppose. Good. And I'm going to start placing these in a pile right here. Okay, good. Take this, place it there. Take this, place it there. Take this one, place it there. Take this one, place it there. Take this one, place it there. I found that the build mode is actually very, very good for kind of sorting out a bunch of loose crap around the base. Okay, good. All of that is stacked perfectly, and that's because of gravity. Good, so I've now got this big old intake pipe, and I am stuck. It's embarrassing. Let's unstuck ourselves. So, let's go down the south side. We'll probably just run down the conveyor system. It seems to be the fastest way down now. I'm down here. Nice. It's like a nice little staircase as well. Okay, we've got another damaged water filter. Ook. We'll probably have to repair that in the very near future. I gotta move that goddamn pipe. It's so obnoxious. Okay, so that should be flowing. Okay, I'm moving these pipes. I'm getting them out of the way because they're really obnoxious. Let's go ahead and fix this. Anything else? Yep, that one. Let's fix that one. Gorgeous. All right, awesome. All the machinery is working. Weirdly, this does take a logic reader. I don't know what for, because it seems to function without one, just absolutely fine. Unless it wants you to like turn it on and off with a lever. In which case I'm just not, I'm flat out not interested. Okay, let's get some of these T-junctions here. Oh, I'm glad that they didn't like all fall over as soon as I pulled out that, that one right in the middle. And good, we'll put that one there. That should be the right place. Excellent. Well, that's weird. <laughs> I've never seen that before. The physics has decided to give up. It seems. Oh, let's come over here. Get another one of these. Okay, another one just dropped out from under it. Strange. And we'll put this one right here. 
Okay, so this machine here, yep, it's definitely inputting numbers. Let's go ahead and set 700, because that's the size of the brick we need. Good, we got 77 out of 700. All right, well, let's go ahead and get the magnet on the stick and we'll do the arduous task of maybe dumping all of these resources into that machine. Okay, good. I'm all the way over here. I'm just going to click. There is a ruby. Okay, I'm actually genuinely surprised that this is working. We already got one? I'd say. Okay, it's munching everything that I have. That ruby can go to hell for all I give a hoot. What is this? Damn, that is a big diamond. What the hell is that doing there? Uh. Okay. Okay. Let's throw that on the ground. And this one can go in there. I wonder why it did that. I wonder why it, it put the gigantic diamond there. Oh, maybe because I had the magnet on a stick and it pulled from, uh, from the distance. Okay, it looks like all of this automation is actually functioning, which is just fantastic. Good. I think we're probably going to need something to... Keep them open, though, so we can actually access them later. There'll be a later issue, though. Okay, let's go ahead and just stack up some pipes here. The elbows. Put that there. And put that one there. Put that one there. And that one goes there. Whoops. Ah, well. Momentum sucks. What are you going to do? I'm going to stack these ones up. Above here. Yep, okay, these will stack nicely. Free cash money. We'll do a little bit of a tidy up. There we go. And one more. I hope. Yep, just one more. Okay, so... Take this, stick it in there. I don't really think there's a lot more that we can do here, right? Ruby doesn't go in there, apparently. Can I grab it? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Okay, let's go ahead and whack this right there. Good. We'll put the onyx in it. Good. And this ruby goes one further this way. Good. Done. So that's going to crush it all into the right place. Now that we've got that, let's go ahead and get our clausium, our iron. And I'm pretty sure we reached what we needed with the other thing that we needed for the, the tier 2 shop, which is... Hardstone, I think. I'll get a bucket from somewhere. Ah, good. This one right here. Nice. Uh, 20.7 out of 700. Oh, perfect. Nice. That's what I like to see. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take all of this crap. And we're going to drop it back onto the conveyor belt over here. And then we're going to not worry about it again. There we go. Done. So I'll take this. Put the gigantic brick in it, hopefully. No, it does not work. Okay, that's annoying. Regardless, we can still take these ingots and we can stick them in the bucket right here and right here. We'll leave this in the back of the truck and then we'll go and get our brick. Nice. This gigantic 700 kilo brick. My god, we are strong. Probably a bit too strong, if you ask me. We're probably an OP character. We can't be killed by anything. And also, uh, we just shrug off things that would ordinarily kill most people. Like, I don't know, being fully submerged in magma? Would, that would... It would be likely that somebody would die from that. What else has there been? Uh, crushing. Severe whiplash. Probably gravitational forces as well. Bad back. We should have bad back. Got to stretch my own back out. Good. So, if we keep on going all the way to the city. This is going to be the tier 2 shop, by the way. We're about to unlock the tier 2 shop. We'll see what's in it. It's probably not going to be anything too fancy, though. Uh, I'm even, like, a little hesitant to say that it's going to be something that is new. I don't think it'll be new, unless it's kind of like the next tier of piping, which would be really annoying to unlock now, after having just finished all of the piping. If we can get better intake pipes, we'll definitely use those, but ultimately I don't really think it's going to be worth our time too much. Probably should have put the tier 3 store here. Ah, uh, it's not that far away, actually. Okay, so we've got this bucket of ores. Let's go ahead and dump it in there. Or not. 
Is that everything we need? Yes, sir. -ry. Okay, good. And we also need this gigantic brick right here, which doesn't look like a brick. It looks like a giant turd. And done. <laughs> nice. Okay. I'll see what's in there after I get my ingots back into the bucket. Good. And we'll throw that there. Nice. What do we got? Lava drill. Ooh, that was not too bad. It requires tokens, though. Ah. Right. Oh, the upgraded tiers of machines. Intake booster. Kind of worthless to us. Lava Thor booster increases the tier of depth a Lava Thor can operate in. Attached to the rear of a vehicle. I have no idea what that means. We've also got some new tools. We've got common tools now, which we definitely can't afford to make. And they definitely require tokens. Ah, they've got TNT too. So, now that we've got this unlocked, we probably actually want this lava drill right here because it is pretty damn good compared to the ones we have. So we're probably going to need to pick up some more of those quests, right? This guy's got a quest. Where is he? Hello, sir, what do you need? I need something specific. Well, uh, sure. How about this one? I mean, I don't really want to give him all of this, but... I mean, we're here, right? There you go. Thank you. 1.5 thousand kilograms. Thank you for your stipend. You stingy prick. Good. Uh, we didn't consolidate that. Let's go ahead and do that again. Yeah, we should have about a grand now. Yeah, we've got a thousand of these tokens, which means we can actually buy that drill right here, the lava drill. Let's go ahead and buy that. Boop. Put that there. Done. Okay, so now that we've got that, we probably want to go ahead and save mm -hmm. up for the vehicles, right? The gigantic vehicles that allow you to bore deep into the depths of what I can only assume to be hell. Okay, I'll put that there. Now, let's look at the T3 store and see what we need for it. I don't think that's it. Where do we put the T3 store? Do we buy it? That's the ticketing office. This guy also has a quest for us. What's up? You can grab me this? Yeah, we can definitely do that. We actually have those resources back at the base right now. What does this lady want? What do you want, sir? Give me this and I'll give you a 35 kilos of gold? Sure, absolutely. Holy hell. Nice. That's basically a gimme. That's a freebie right there. Ah, is this it? No, this is the jeweler. Oh, if we kept that iron bar, we could have just made this right now. But we didn't. Okay. So this lady wants something as well. What do you want? A 300 kilogram sword. Okay. I mean, your funeral. Whoa, she's offering us a thousand buckery boost for this one. Nice. Okay. I think that maybe now we should get ourselves an anvil. And a forge. So that we can do a little bit of smithing. It's probably going to be a, a really good idea. We'll get an anvil. I'm not going to get an ingot cast. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me because we're not going to be casting. We'll get a small furnace. We can heat up the bars. And what else do we need? We don't need a grind wheel. Scales we don't need. Probably should get a saw. And what else? Anything else? Probably not over here. We need a lever. We need a lever for the logic units. And ice melter, no. Hearthstone, no. Not interested. What else we got? Oh, there's a logic gem compressor here the whole time. It was just hidden behind everything. Floppers. Got a bunch of lava flow stuff. We need this tool rack. Good. And we also need a blacksmithing hammer. Let's get all of this stuff done. It's only 580 buckery booze. Sure. Let's go ahead and spend our 35,000 buckery booze on just that. Excellent. Okay, so if we get deep into the quests, we should be in a pretty good spot to essentially have... An unlimited supply of these guild tokens, which I thought were going to be a lot more sparse than they actually are. So we should be able to get our gigantic vehicles very, very shortly. Okay, good. Got our saw. Nice. I want to play a game. We've got our blacksmithing hammer. Mjolnir. I'm going to call it. Why not? And we're off. We're going back to base. We've seen enough here. Actually, we haven't set up the T3 store. Have we even bought it? No, we haven't. Okay, this is 2,400 coins, which we have more than enough of. We can definitely afford this, so let's go ahead and get this. I think at this point, we've probably got more money than we know what to do with, because it seems like the game's trying to flow us into 
not necessarily money per se, but the guild tokens. I think that's going to be be the currency that we almost exclusively want to go for. It's going to be a bunch of questing. Okay, I'll throw this in the back of the truck and we'll go look for that other blank patch of land that we just passed before. So we'll go back here. And we'll come around this corner. Nice. There should be a blank patch just over here to our right, right? No, it's not there. That is the technique booth. It's right here. Probably shouldn't have put this here to be quite honest because it's elevated which means it's going to be annoying to get to but we'll make like a day of it every time we come up here okay what do we need so we're gonna need 5400 hardstone blocks that's fine Corestone bar 400 it's not so bad Clausium 300 again that's actually not that bad so we'll just we'll get the machinery plugged in that we just got now maybe we'll think about getting the automatic repair system up and running as well and then we should be in a good spot we should be in a really really good spot i'll just get the minimum required as well and i think while we're also making that same trip to get the logic repair units we might also want to go ahead and spend a bunch of money on getting cables for the uh, gem compressors might also be a really good idea i think it's probably almost common sense right okay we'll come through here We should get lots, lots, lots more uh, of a yield for this drill that we just that we just purchased as well. Unfortunately, I don't think it's actually going to work where we would want to put it, which is pretty close to the end of the conveyor system. But it should be fine regardless. It should be fine. It should be fine. Okay, good. So, I'm going to take the truck. We're going to go around here. And then I kind of want to set up a very crude blacksmithing area. We'll get some concrete pads to stand on eventually. But for now, it's not necessary, per se. Okay, so we want to put this here. Nope, that's backwards. Like so. And beside the scales, let's go ahead and put this here. Forge. So that we can heat up our goodies when we stick them in. We've got this one Cloutium bar ingot. I think that's here. Yep, that's in there. And we gave away our iron because we were stupid. What is this? Cloutium. More Cloutium. Really? Seriously? Wow, that's a lot of Cloutium right there. Okay, so we've got a few of these quests. We're probably going to be using them. We'll get our tool rack over here so that we can stick our blacksmith's hammer and our saw in it. Wherever the hell they went. Saw is right here. Uh... Drop that there. Nice. Where is Mjolnir? That's our construction hammer. We'll actually just knock all of these into place so we don't accidentally move them. Done. And now we need Mjolnir, which is right here. Okay, it was hidden under everything. Put that there. Put this construction hammer. Actually, let's knock all of these smelters in place. Good. And we'll put this back here. Very good. Nice. Okay. Now that we have kind of done all of that, we probably want to take this lever and we want to plug it in to all of the logic over here. So I'm just going to leave this here for now and we'll go and get some logic stuff later. Why is it off? Why is the machinery off? Let's see. Let's ask. Let's ask Jeeves because one of the water filters is broken. We definitely need to sort this out. This is actually our biggest concern at the moment. Okay, we'll do that right after we plug in the next machine because it'll just be generating free resources until those water filters break again. And then we'll go spend the last of our money. Oh my God, let me up the slope. For the love of God, please. <laughs> we'll go and we'll go get the, the all the logic stuff for the repairs, all the auto repairs and all that stuff so that we don't have to worry about it anymore. Now, we are top site. We needed the machine right here. Get this and we'll plug this in down south side here nice and we are going to have to mill out annoyingly another little access point for this machine because it, it just won't work there i don't think We're also going to need to plug it in with a junction i think uh so we could pick it out or we could just start sticking it on this side of the wall here i think that might be a better idea just to maximize the amount of pressure that's going into the machines let's do that 
We'll just mine and mill all of this out here. And I think we'll kind of like pipe in the lava pipes from the origination of the machines. No. I've decided my mind. Chat is going bad. Uh, I don't think anybody actually cares. Uh, people are here for me, Jensen, not the chat. <laughs> okay, so we'll get all of this milled out. Nice. Excellent. Perfect. That should be enough. And now we want to plug in the machine on this side. We probably also want one of these lava pipes to come along from a junction here rather than an elbow. Yeah, we'll elbow it in from here. Why can't I move it? Okay, we'll stick that there. We'll put a junction right there because we actually do need to. Perfect. And up here. Nice. Junction. We've got it. Gonna need another one of these down south side as well, so we'll just go ahead and preemptively stick that one in the hole. Probably need a couple of straights as well. I was saying earlier, add lights. We don't have any logic circuitry, so there's there's nothing to add. <laughs> there's literally nothing to add. Uh, okay, we'll put this junction right here. We are gonna sort that out uh, as soon as we finish plugging in this machine. That is uh, kind of the plan right now. I don't know if you were here when I was just uh, spitballing uh, approximately two minutes ago, but that was exactly the plan that we're about to be doing. I want to get this milled out as well. Because our choke at this point is just all of the automation on the repair systems. That's the, that's the biggest issue that we have right now. Oof. Yeah, we don't we don't have anything. It's hard to find actually. We've got to go all the way across the entire map to get ourselves the circuitry. There's nowhere closer that sells it, sadly. Okay, I'll just get all of this out of the way in case we ever need to maintain the machinery. Yeah, we're probably going to need a few straight pipes now as well, come to think of it. So this one should be going probably where this one is. Relatively there? Yep, that's perfect. Where is the machine? That's not it. This is the one. Plug this one in where the shovel is. And we'll go ahead and throw this right. I don't know which way it's supposed to be facing. I think it's supposed to be facing this way. Oh, this is a different intake. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we got to move this one over by one more. Please, game. Please. Please don't make me pixel hunt. Okay, it's making me pixel hunt. There we go. Now we need a couple of straights. Get a couple of straights just to line it in, and then we should have that nice machine that we just bought going like the clappers. Beautiful. Uh, straights. We need straights. Throw this one in the hole right here. Done. One in the hole. Good. And this one as well. Yoink. Great. Go ahead and throw all of this in here. So, this one's got to be sideways, plugged into that. And I know I'm doing flick shots like I'm playing Fortnite. But I'm anxious to get out of this area. Uh, we probably want to plug this in, say, there. Then we want to elbow into that one. So we're going to need one straight, one elbow down the hole here. We also need to get a staircase. For the love of God, that is so frustrating to go up now. Okay, one straight, one elbow. One straight, one elbow. One straight. Good. I'm just going to throw this down here. And one elbow. Ooh, do we have elbows? I'm pretty sure we do. I stacked up a couple of them. Here they are. Good. We got a couple of elbows. Perfect. Okay, we'll dump this down here, right into the side of the machine, like so. And this one can go right there. Done. Now if we turn this on, it should be powered. And it should be able to dig into the ice beneath it. Ah. Water filter's broke again. Okay. I guess we don't really have a choice now, but to go and get ourselves some logic circuitry, right? Is that all? Yep. Yeah. Okay. We'll go out, we'll go and get some logic circuitry, we'll go and get a shopping cart, and then we'll make like a, a, a nice circuitry cart. So that we have everything we need for these machines here, and also the ones down south to auto repair. Where's the truck? There it is. Let's get into here, and we are going to be spending all of our money, I think, on just this. Beautiful! 
And once we do that, we can go around, we can start collecting some of the other little achievements that are just really easy to do. For example, I know there's one achievement for getting each one of the dig sites. So that's just four achievements we can get straight out of the way. And in the base game, there's also a bunch of achievements that are exactly the same. So we might go back to the base game and check that out as well. But for now, we're going to go get ourselves some circuitry. We probably actually don't want to go straight to the circuitry shop, though. I think we probably want to dip into this ravine right here. And we want to go to the village where we can buy a shopping cart, because I'm pretty sure we can't buy a shopping cart at the logic gate area on the other side of the map. Okay, we'll go here first. To this village that kind of looks from a distance like it's burning down. Oh well, what do I care? I'm only here to make money, not save lives. If they were one and the same thing, this world would be a way better place. Okay. So, I'm getting out. I'm getting my money. There it is. And we want to buy that cart right in the corner. A lot of the stuff here that I would consider to be a necessity of the game is very well hidden. Okay. Buy it. I'll throw this into the back of the cart. And we'll take this cart. And then we'll throw it into the back of the... Ute. Done. Now we're off to go and get ourselves some logic. Probably going to have to stop and refuel the truck on the way. But that's going to be pretty easy. We'll just opportunistically look for it as we see it. Okay, good. It's becoming sundown. Sundown is absolutely fine, honestly. I feel like being in a snowy biome in this game is actually cooling me down somewhat. Because it is hot as hell here. Where I live. It's probably a good, like, 30 degrees. Not bad for the middle of winter. Sorry, end of winter. Okay, we'll come up this away, try and avoid the dig site because it's annoyingly fiddly to drive over. It's not as straight as the rest of the terrain on this yeah, planet. I take it back. Probably should have just uh, stuck to the roads. Now we got to do all of this weird off-roading. Man, this place is bubbling and gurgling as well. It's like I've just eaten a, a really, really off burrito. It's what it sounds like. It sounds like I'm about to crap myself. And I promise, it's, an, it, it's not the mic picking up anything. It's, it's actually in the game. Trust me, bro. Trust me, bro, on that. Oh, we probably got to just uh, refuel our uh, car here as well. Let's do that. So then we don't have to do it on the way back. Uh, that is a steep slope. Probably don't want to go down there. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get the buckets out of. Okay, this should do. This looks nice. Okay, we'll throw that there. I'm in the lava. I'm burning. I'm dying. I'm literally dying. I'm literally burning. What's in here? Probably nothing. Oh, there wasn't. There wasn't anything in there. Good. And throw this in the top. Yep. Nice. Throw that there. Excellent. We just burned our feet a little bit, but that's absolutely fine. We weren't using them anyway. We're using this car, basically, full time. We're not really walking anywhere anymore. Okay, we'll drop that one in there. Grab it again. Maybe just jumping up onto the front of the truck so that is the way to refuel it. Okay, that is hideous to look at. A little bit of a clipping texture there, but... Ah, well. Such is life, I suppose. Okay. We've got some backup fuel just in the top of the truck. No, we don't, actually. It's pinning us down for some stupid reason. Okay, let's go ahead and just dump this here. Nice. There we go. We've got the clipping texture of shame. That's how we know. That's how we know we fully refueled it. We'll keep... Ignore this mess of a place right here. We are going to go straight past it. That was where we started. Disgusting, filthy, revolting place. Yuck. Gross. It's like a furry orgy. All right, we've got a bunch of these here posts. Got to watch out for I feel like the game needs some stuff added to it to shake things up. I think I was talking about this in the last stream. Like, when you go ahead and you start crafting things, it's very one-dimensional. Like, very one-dimensional. It's, it's so, so easy to kind of master. It takes half a minute to master. But the issue with it is that it gets boring after a, a significant amount of time. And while I'm not particularly bored playing the game, I am doing the same repetitive things over and over again, and I understand that that's probably not thrilling to watch. Unless you've got autism. In which case, probably finishing the game would be better for you than not. 
Okay, good. So, through this little uh, vagine of an ice cave, we have arrived at the logic place. Nice! Okay, Hobson's Power Works. That's where we are at. Go ahead, grab our cart. Now, we're going to need to get a big shop here. The first things first, we are going to need spanner hurtling units. Oh, we've got a cart here already, actually. That's pretty funny. Let's grab our money and we'll throw it in the bucket. Just over here. Done. Now, let's fill this bad boy up. So, we need five of these. One, two, three, four, and five for a grand total of six grand. We also need logic flip hooks. We're going to need five of these. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Now we need a bunch of cables. So we're going to need a minimum of uh, 10 junctions. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Minimum. We're also going to need one, two, one, two, three, four per machine. So maybe 20? Two, three, four, five. We'll get 25 of them. Six, seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, and 11, and 12. It's probably excessive. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And one of them fell off, so I'm going to pick that boy, bad boy back up before I forget. And we're going to throw it here. And then we can go on the card as well. Now we're going to need a bunch of these straights as well. Probably mini per repair. So we need one in between every uh, one of the gem compressors, which is going to be four, because we've got five gem compressors, and the ones on the outside don't need an additional one. So that's four minimum, and then on top of that, we're also going to need the logic durability system, which is going to be two per machine for a total of five machines. So that's ten minimum. We'll go for fifteen. Fifteen of these should be more than enough. Three, four... Whoops, there's an elbow. Four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. I'll get twenty. I'll get twenty of them. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sits an elbow. I'll take it, sure. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty! Great. Let's go ahead and grab this cart. Laden with things. Oh, that was a really cheap shop, actually. What are we? We're missing something. We're missing the logic durability readers. Where are they? They're over here, aren't they? Yep, here they are. Good. How much are these going to cost? Ah, uh, bugger all, actually. One, two, three, and four. And we need five of these bad boys. Let's get a couple of lights as well. Just because they do actually illuminate the area pretty effectively. Two and three. Four should do the trick. And while I'm at it, I'm going to get a bunch more straights and junctions so that we can actually have a light system. One, we'll get 10 more of these here. T. Uh, maybe like six or so. Yeah, and we'll get a bunch more of these straights because we are going to set up a nice light system under the ground so that we can actually see what the hell we are doing. I don't know how many of these we're going to need, though. Probably a billion. And that's a billion. I'm happy with that. Excellent. No frame drop. Uh, 16 grand. Again, very cheap. Why is it so cheap? Oh, do we need these? No, we don't. We don't need any of that. We're fine. I'll throw that in the back of the car. Excellent. And now we want to grab the sled and throw that in the back of the car as well. Nice. I, li I like how this is all turned out. And we are never coming back here again, hopefully. <laughs> We're done with this area. The place that we have set up our most recent mine at, Scoria Chamber, I think it's called, that's probably going to be our forever mine. Because quite frankly, the other ones are a little bit... They have trade-offs. They've got annoying trade-offs that I'm not particularly interested in engaging with. Whoa! 
Okay, crash into that one, thanks to the frame drop. Should be fine. Good. Ah. Smiley face? Oh, do you like being able to see? <laughs> it's actually surprising. I usually don't set up lighting systems whatsoever. But I'll do it now. I'll do it now. Probably should have grabbed a lever as well to turn it on and off, but... Again, should be fine. Should be absolutely fine. Uh... I'm gonna go get levers. We're going back for levers. I don't know how important... Actually, there's levers in the town, aren't there? There's levers and a little number pad at town. So we'll just go through the town. We'll go... We'll follow the road. We'll go to town and hopefully we'll just buy a couple of those levers through there. Alright, good. Doing a bit of a save right there. Excellent. So peaceful here. There's like nothing happening. Rate your wallway snow steers. What the hell? Am I reading that right? Make your walkway snow steers. Oh. Actually, we could do that. If we get a rake, we could probably do that. Rake kind of turns everything into Minecraft, right? Which probably should have already done that. We'll try to do that. I'll see if there's a rake for sale at the town as well, because I'm pretty sure it's the same store that sells the levers. And that would be really helpful. To my stupid idiot brain, who keeps getting stuck on that really, ob really obnoxious walkway that we made. We'll turn it into Minecraft. Excellent. We'll come on through here. It's still snowing in this lava field. That's kind of sus. Weird. Like, I shouldn't complain, but still weird. Okay, so to our immediate right should be exactly the place we need to be at. Th I think they sell levers here. I'd find it. Yes! Levers! Logic lever. Great. I'll get like three of these, I think. Probably should have just put them on the back of the shopping cart for the logic stuff, but... We're only getting a couple of them. 252 bucks already. Right, and if there is a rake, I will buy it. No, there is a chisel for gemstone cutting. There's a shovel. We do need a rake. I think we might have to craft one. We'll stop by the other place as well. Just in case they sell one. Okay, good. 252 buckery booze. Go ahead and sped that. Nice. And we'll get all these levers onto the back of the ute. Uh, put that one there. Nice. Put this here. And this one. They can go over here as well. Done. Right. Let's get in the truck. We want to go this way. We still don't have any bones to finish off that skeleton, which is actually driving me nuts. Okay, let's see if they've got a rake here for sale. Uh, yes, they do actually have one for sale. Perfect. Okay, we'll buy this rake and we'll use this to craft up some steers. We still have 15 grand. I think we've probably got an excessive amount of money, to be quite honest. We aren't really going to be spending it anymore. I don't think, because we already got all the logic stuff we need. Where's our rake? There it is. Excellent. Nice. Okay, we'll make some snow steers out of this. There's no steers like snow steers. And now we're just going to go back. Back to base. I'm going to set everything up. And then we'll start polishing off those achievements that I keep on talking about. I'm sorry if I'm blowing anyone's balls with it, but... You know, such is life sometimes. Okay. Come on through here. What a nice valley. I kind of vibe the textures of this game as well. I know that they were thrown together very hastily, or at least recycled assets in Unity or something like that. But... I do quite like the geometry of this game. It has a real handcrafted feel to it. Kind of like Skyrim, in a way. With less to do, obviously, but... You know, Skyrim had that hand-painted feel to it. Like, every single mountain you were climbing, somebody painstakingly took days to craft every little edge that you could fall down on. Which, now that I think about it, is really malicious. But, oh well. Again, such is life. Okay, we're back to base... So, let's go ahead and do the topside logic first. No, we won't. We'll actually go downstairs first. And then we'll do all of the auto repair stuff, because that can take away while we're working on the logic up topside. Oh, now we're getting frame drop from this cart. Uh, right. We're stuck. Ah, okay, good. Got it. Got it in the end. So, we're going to need to mine out a bunch more space, aren't we? I think we are. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I'll try and come up here. Excellent. 
Yeah, this is not nearly enough space for the entire system to thrive on. And we do want it to thrive. We definitely want it thriving. I'm going to mine all of this out. Probably should just get some steps to come up here as well, because we're going to be doing... We're going to be coming and going from this area quite a lot as well. I don't know why you can't build an elevator in this game. What a strange idea to not put that in the game. Okay, good. Mine all of this out. Beautiful. I wonder if the developers are just done with the game, honestly. I did send them a message about the uh, world wiping bug that I had like three times in a row on my stream. No, four times in a row on my streams. And uh, they didn't really seem too keen on fixing it. They were just happy that I reported it. I don't think it did anything. Apparently they can't replicate it. It's easy to replicate. Literally just delete your world.save. It's that simple. It's literally that simple. Okay, good. This feels a lot more open now that we can actually see the conveyor belt here. I'm liking this. I'm liking where this is going. Excellent. Get all of this mined out of the way so I can see the conveyors at least at bare minimum. Good. And we'll keep on just busting all of this out here. Nice. We're going to need lots and lots of room for this... Uh, this auto repair system. Like, lots of room. Okay, good. Excellent. And... Perfect! Ah. Hey, the dead space. Main? Oh no, bro, you'll never believe what book I found absolutely destroyed on the front patio. Oh no, was it a copy of Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park? Because if it was, man, my heart goes out to you. That would suck ass so bad. That'd be the worst thing in the world, I would say. Probably equal to a, 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 a hate crime. Okay, we'll put that there. I also just figured out a way that maybe we could get some auto repair down here into the auto repair units. We could probably have these splitters that only split after they receive four bags, maybe. Amazon worker is completely inept and gave my lady's package to the dog. Oh, that sucks so bad. Oh, no. My heart goes out. Tell your lady that my heart goes out. That sucks so bad. I've I've had that before with uh, pets and stuff. It really hurts. It really hurts when it... Like, it's bad enough when your dog eats your homework, but when a dog eats the thing that you worked really, really hard to buy on the internet, that's even worse. That's so much worse. In just about every single way. Okay, we need one there. Need one of these here. And we need one of these here. I hope we don't have to move the cart. Right there. No, we don't. Perfect. But we are going to have to expand out a little bit further so that we can make more room for these here items. We're going to need another staircase that goes down here, honestly. Just so that we have the ability to refill these machines. It's a little bit fiddly to do so otherwise. The book deserve it? What was it? What, what book did you feed to the dogs? Was it literally called The World Is Going To The Dogs or something like that? Because that'd be irony in its sheerest form. Uh, okay, stick this one at a strange angle going this way. Actually, we probably want to have it that way so that we can actually read it. Okay, that's too close. Gonna have to get the pickaxe out again. Good thing we just heated it up. It's a communistic book with two chapters out of six about six. Six? That's hilarious. Oh my god, does does your lady also read those? Because that's what my girlfriend reads. That's what Yinset likes to read. Not necessarily the sex specifically, but like, she owns a copy of Karl Marx's Communist Manifesto, which I find a little cringe. I find communism to be a little bit cringe because when it's applied, in the real world, it doesn't actually work out as, as well as people think. Like, people have their smartphones these days, and they talk to each other on their smartphones, and they say, hey, I really like, uh, I really like the idea of socialism and communism. And they don't quite realise that with communism and socialism, nobody would ever be motivated to create a better phone. So what they would be saying that on would be a Nokia. This Disgusting itself is a socialism book? No, she doesn't. What, she doesn't read that kind of stuff? My girlfriend does. <laughs> I think it's just out of interest, but every now and then she'll accidentally wind up with a bunch of smut in her books as well. 
Because those, those are just the kind of people that write, like, socialism books. They're very sexually free people. Okay. Oh, no, she doesn't. What do you mean? It's more than cringe. It's threatening to me. Oh, I wouldn't say it's, like, threatening, necessarily. Like, it's... There's a thing, right? You've got to be able to disambiguate between being afraid of communism and understanding that it just doesn't really function as people would want it to. It's like buying a, uh, it's like buying a home assistant and then instead of doing exactly what you asked, it just um, offered you ads, right? You, you buy one of those Amazon Alexas and instead of improving your life, all it does is tell you about deals on Amazon. That's all it does. That would be a, a, a pretty good comparison to, to communism. <laughs> a crude comparison, but a, a good comparison nonetheless. Okay, well, put that there, because we want to be able to put levers on these. That is an elbow. God, I laid this out like ass. I can't see anything that I'm doing in here. That should be a junction. Uh, let's pixel hunt for more junctions. Junction there, good. Junction here. Can we plug it in there? No, the cart is in the way. Okay, let's put, just put that there for the meantime. And then I'll leave this cart in the lava. Good. Now that it's out of the way... Go ahead, dump that back there. Excellent. We can just kind of, like, pixel hunt everything we need, right? Good. Now we need some straight pipes. Uh, there. Excellent. That's in line. I like that. That's pleasing to the human eye. One there. Good. One here. Good. We're going to need another lift above this as well. So we're probably going to have to mine out more of the ceiling. One there. Excellent. Oh. Alexa plays spy on me as soon as she does that at 3am. What? Does she actually, like, advertise ads to people? Why own one? Why would anybody actually own an Alexa if they if they advertise products to you? What a waste of a, of a, of a, of a home assistant. I've got a Google Nest, and I'm just happy that it, every now and then you'll ask it a question, and then it'll just kind of ignore what you said. If it offered me ads for literally anything, I would throw it in the bin as soon as I heard the first one. They're not even that expensive, the Google Nest. Alexa plays very disturbing to me, like laughs at 3 a.m. Oh, that's not very good. <laughs> Maybe you got a cursed Alexa. That sucks. Oh, that's really good. I don't know. I'd say sometimes. Sometimes, like, it's, it's nice. It's nice to have the confirmation that demons actually do exist in real life. But sometimes it's also a little bit... A, a little bit concerning. Especially if your home assistant is uh, possessed. Okay, I'll throw this pick on the ground right here. Let me start getting the other lift of these in. We're going to have to elbow in from above. Okay, that can go there. That can go there. We still have to dig out more egress that away, unfortunately. Good, that goes there. That goes there. Nice! And now... These can go there. Get another, maybe four of these straight pipes. Put them against each other. That one goes there. Nice. Oop, fell off the, uh, the pipe right there. That is an elbow. Nobody asked for that. Okay, this one goes in front of that one there. Nice. I'm doing all these straights before I do the elbows. And it probably doesn't make a lot of sense for me to do this like this. But it orients the cables the same way. And I find that very nice to look at. Okay, we need many, many more straights now. Many, many more straights. Do we have many, many more straights? Hard to say. That is a, that is a straight right there. Perfect. One. <laughs> One. Great. Uh, that is the wrong orientation. That is also the wrong orientation. That is the wrong orientation. That should be fine. This one should be good. So this has to be recessed up into the roof right there, unfortunately. Oh, this lava is now screwing me over too. Okay, let's look for the straights. Let's play a game. Let's play a game of spot the straights. Ah, oh, I can't put that there. Yeah, we're going to need the pickaxe out. <sighs> FBI owns something to what with it from what I heard? Maybe. Maybe. NSA does have the ability to kind of like pull rank on the internet and uh, kind of like claim information based on the threat of terrorism. But realistically, how often is that actually a threat of terrorism and them just not being all like, well, we're doing an investigation into somebody uh, for political aspects. Years ago, it was denied back then. Author lady sounds like she wants to control women and men's relationship with the Eastern European countries by nudging them with their opinions and views. None of. Right. 
Okay. Which is actually scientific. She says it, and then a minute in her interview, it says that it has nothing to do with science. Sorry, uh, what is this in reference to? Years ago, it's threatening to me. Years ago, it was denied back then. What was denied? What was denied? I'm not sure, like, communism is the answer, right? I'd say probably, like, socialist capitalism would be the way. Because capitalism at its core, like, not a lot of people gives it enough credit. Capitalism as, at its core is basically just uh, a meritocracy of teamwork. That's essentially it, right? You've got a, a few very, very rich people, but they are the, the leaders of the teams. I'm not seeing any other straight pipes. Maybe we didn't get enough. That'd be annoying. That'd be really annoying, actually. Okay. Got a bunch of junctions, though. We can always use those in a pinch. Uh, we'll start sticking in these here pipes. One there. Nice. That's in line as well. That's pleasing to look at. And another one over here. Pretty good. Get a couple more from a distance. That is a light. There's another elbow here. Good. Plug that in there. I'm also committed to these elbows now, so I'm ignoring that one straight pipe I kept hovering over. If it even was a straight pipe. Where are the elbows? There's one. Good. Put that one there. And now we need more elbows. But we need to place them upside down, flipped around. Like so. Awesome. Nice. That's nice to look at. Okay. Just got more straights. Not seeing a lot of elbows. Good. We got more elbows. We've got a billion elbows. Why are we short? Why are we shy on anything elbow related? Okay. There's straights all over the place. I've also just found the elbows are right at the front of the cart. Beautiful. You love to see it, don't you? You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay. We'll throw that down. Put that there. There should be all of the elbows done and dusted. I love that. Good. Okay, let's start placing down these here readers. So we don't really have a choice. We need them. Put that there. Nice. And we need a couple more there. And another one here. Right there. Very good. Are they facing the right way? Yes, sir. Okay, good. And we'll get this one here. Piped in that way. One of the water filter hooks just broke. Okay. The book is called Why Women Have Better Sex Under Socialism. <laughs> the lady doesn't even believe what she wrote. I literally had to pick up a thousand little strips of paper. Oh. Oh, no. It's even worse when, like, it, if, if there's something you don't like and then you have to clean up after it, that's the worst. That is the absolute pits. Okay, let's try and plug this one in here. You yeah, know, that, that makes me laugh. That makes me laugh. I know it's like a, a funny meme, like, ha-ha, feminism, they, they don't know what they're doing. It's not like that at all, right? It's like, when people assume that a political affiliation makes you a better lover or a better person, that is just flat-out stupid. Because it doesn't. Believing in something politically doesn't make you a better person in any way, shape, or form. It just makes you different. Okay, we got the last straight pipe that we need. Done. Oh, actually, we still need one more, so let's pixel hunt a little bit further. Hey, I found all the rest of them. Took this one through here. Like, I've, I've definitely got my political beliefs, and I do my best not to dump them on people. But at the same time, it's kind of hard not to, like, talk about politics these days. It's so hard. Only two of the six chapters are about six. Still, that's a, if that's a third of a book. <laughs> if it's a third of a book. I've been told so many times across my life by so many people that, hey, if, uh... Wait, why doesn't this... Oh, right, we need the levers as well. Oh, we didn't get the levers. We also need these switch watch hooks. I've always been told that if you don't believe in very specific things in this world, uh, you're just an idiot. Like a, a brain-dead troglodyte who doesn't really deserve to live. And that's because I grew up in New Zealand. Um, here in New Zealand, we're incredibly politically active... And unfortunately, um, it makes people either really, really elitist or it turns people off of politics in the first place. So uh, New Zealand is a bit of a mess politically. We're a smart country, obviously, but like at the same time, people just don't want any part of it anymore. We've had such an oversaturation of if you don't believe in this, you're just a stupid idiot and you don't deserve to live that no one's really interested anymore. It's huge as well. It's like a big cultural thing ingrained into us. Do we actually need to... I'm starting to think that we don't need levers on these. Okay, let's fill all of these bad boys back up. One in there. Oh, 
Apparently it was full. Huh? Huh? Okay, one in there. What the hell? Oh, it's full? Where's the bag I just picked up? Oh, I see. It just went into the, the pipe. That's fine. Okay. All right. We got five and we got five in there and we're getting five in here. Perfect. Can we reach that from here? Oh, so close. Oh, yes, we can. Good. Okay, let's dump that right here. And that should be the main issue taken care of. We're going to need a lot more of the um, repair tools, but this should give us a lot of leeway for a long, long time, I think. Let's go ahead and try to put some ice into this ice machine. Good. That has almost crashed the game. Oh no, we've got too many resources. Okay, good. It failed to continue. <laughs> Never mind! Ugh! Yuck! Brother, ugh! Okay, good. Throw that in there. And I want to see all this get munched. Go, go! Go, go, gadget munching! Okay, I don't know if that was better for the frame rate or worse for the frame rate. Worse. Way worse. Oh, it is so much worse. Oh my god. Is it because of this gigantic pile of ores? Maybe? Whew. The way that the awful lady explained it is that the books for European women to use as a template for guidelines to shift over to a democracy and capitalistic worldview that you do or don't need. A man with or without money and power to have a relationship. That's a little toxic. Wait, what happened to two people just liking being around each other? What happened to that? I do, however, understand that uh, there are parts of Europe that are incredibly feminist. Like, I think Sweden is massively feminist. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. It just means we get to see uh, kind of how the other side lives from a distance, vicariously, so to speak. Which is quite nice. Okay, I am being processed way slower than all of these ores. I just want them all to be dumped into the, uh, the smelter over here. Okay, I'm doing a jump. I'm doing a jump. Let's watch it. Here it comes. Oh, it's choking. It's choking. Okay, there we go. The frame rate is back. Sweet Jesus. That was heinous. Although we were generating ores that entire time that the sorting system was not open. Okay, it looks a little bit ugly, but I think ultimately now we do have a pretty good system in place. Go ahead and just mine out the last of this. And we should be golden. Although I shouldn't really be commenting on books these days anymore. They are very politically charged. A lot of people uh, just don't read anymore. And I'm probably one of them. Like, if there's an audio book that I really want to listen to, I'll listen to it. But I don't really give myself enough time with all the YouTube stuff that I'm doing. So I'm not really... I'm not really qualified to talk about uh, book reviews these days. What I am qualified to talk about is uh, video games. Okay, so we could probably actually put a a light in here, right? I'll put a junction right at the end of this instead of this here pipe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Oh, huh? huh? just drop it, you idiot. Good. Let's get ourselves a junction and we'll put it here like so. We'll mine out a little bit of space for that light right here. Nope, that is the light itself. We need the pickaxe. Whoops. There it is. Go ahead and give ourselves a little bit more space here. And now we should be able to plug a, a light in so we can actually see what we're doing. Which hasn't really been a problem up to now, but I suppose if you're a viewer, you'd probably actually want to be able to see what you're doing rather than not. All right, let's see if this just plugs and plays. Uh, no, it does not. Okay, we need levers. <sighs> Fine. Okay, we'll get some levers. Hi, Jensen. Like my profile picture? I can barely see it. Stern. Oh, no, no. CC. Right. Says it's about both views, so regardless, you choose the conditioning, right? Yeah, I, I suppose these days you can choose conditioning, but conditioning, the whole point of conditioning is that you're skewed into believing that something is, for other reasons other than what the message is, there are... Kind of, it, it makes you seem smarter, or it makes you seem more powerful, or something like that, right? So everybody's trying to convince you that their message is better. And yet, 
People have forgotten about it, even like the uh, one of the lesser known quotes of Diogenes being if you want to know why somebody's up on the stage shouting a bunch of crap, look to who owns the stage, right? It's, it's that simple. So these days, every time I like see somebody's published a book and everyone's all like, oh, I love this book so much. And then publishers uh, give it awards and stuff. I start thinking, do those publishers have an agenda? Are they trying to push an idea onto me that I wouldn't necessarily want to seek out for myself? Like, it's, it's that kind of skepticism that keeps me um, nice and ignorant when it comes to all of this reading stuff. Okay, good. And I know this because Yin Siet, uh, she buys a lot of these kind of like, I wouldn't call them self-help books, but she, she studied psychology back in university some years ago, and she's got a massive interest in the, in the field, so she tries to keep up by reading books that are psychologically relevant. Unfortunately, the books just don't end up being unbiased, pseudo-intellectual. That's a really good way of putting it. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've got this set up, let's go and start blasting through a few achievements. So first thing I'm going to do is get some gold. This right here is going to be our cash cow. We're going to throw this in the back of the car. We're going to sell it. We're going to see how much money we have. And then we are going to go and try and fist our way through as many of the achievements as we possibly can. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and just check how much money we have on hand. We have 15,000. Yeah, we definitely need to sell that gold bar. But that gold bar has been generating for a while, so it is going to be incredibly potent when it comes to the markets. Go ahead and look at the, look at the map as well. We've got a rake in the way, annoyingly. Uh, we are still moving. Yep, okay, so we should come across the next dig site on the way to selling our good old merchant. You can just call me Erin? Okay, I'll call you Erin, as opposed to CC, which is an unusual name, honestly. I don't know why you'd ever type it to be pronounced that in that way, but I'm really glad you've got an actual name. Welcome to the channel, Erin. <laughs> that should set the, uh, the tone pretty well <laughs> for everything you've come to expect. Okay, we'll come over here, and I see the dig site over here. I'm going to ignore the city because it actually has nothing to offer us. We're going to come over here. We are going to buy this dig site, which is going to polish off another one of these here achievements, one of these coveted achievements. And then we'll probably also go into the base game, and we'll see whether or not we can't buy all those dig sites too. We should be able to. We should have a billion dollars over there. Boop. Yoink. We now own it. Down by the river, we purchased the Waterside Dig Site. Beautiful. The next stop in the trip is going to be at the... Actually, there's probably a better place we can go to, right? Let's get out of the car. We'll take a look at the map real quick. And see what we've got to work with. Moats Island doesn't have any dig sites, annoyingly. We could actually go through the Barrens and get the Shattered Breach and the Cinder Footing. How much have we got? How much money have we got? If there is a, kind of like a stock market where we can sell gold or even a jeweler, I don't know how much that's worth. We got 10 grand. Actually, this will work in our favor very well. We'll go through the barons instead of what we were doing, which was going around the barons. Ah, I apologize that I sprung this on you. This is exhausting. What? Uh, political affiliation. That's the point of it, though. It's emotionally charged. It's, it's inherently divisive for the sake of division. It's just people shouting beliefs at each other. I post edits. Uh, that's fantastic. I'm really glad to hear. <laughs> Don't know how that's relevant, though. Okay. Oh, yes, this was worth coming down anyway because we found a bone. What is it? Tip of the tail? Tip of the tail? No, it's... I think this is the last rip. Maybe even the second last rip. Gorgeous. Love to see it. You love to see it. Okay, I'll keep on looking around here because it seems like we haven't been down here yet. Maybe there is going to be another bone somewhere around here. I don't see anything, though. Maybe not. I post edits, and my name is Sterniolo CC. Okay. That is uh, basically what I extrapolated from your username. Welcome to the, to the channel, edits maker. Okay. So, coming through the barrens, it doesn't, there is actually a kind of road that we can follow, but it ends, no it doesn't, it doesn't end at all. The hell crack was I smoking this whole time? It was easier to get through. Oh, it is kind of easier to get a little bit sidetracked though, isn't it? Okay, I'm around here. Ah, uh, no, you said sterling. Yeah, it's close enough though, isn't it? 
<laughs> it's close enough. I love that. You have no idea how many people come onto the stream and they say hi with this really strange looking username that I've never seen before. I also have dyslexia. Um, and then they kind of like berate me for saying it wrong. It's been like five messages saying, hey, this is how you say my name. And again, because I'm not being spoken to phonetically, I can't pronounce the name right because of the dyslexia. So uh, they get really, really angry and they leave and they leave a bunch of dislikes on all my videos. And it's got to be them because no one else is doing that. <laughs> There's so many people who do it frequently. Say my name right or die! It's basically the vibe I get. Okay. You haven't been violent, though. You have not been violent. Usually I get a slur or two thrown at me. Okay. Got some trees over here. I'm Iris. My IR name, IRL name isn't Iris, though. Oh, right! Okay, I was about to call you new to the channel as well. <laughs> I wonder if you were here for that, when, when that guy with the uh, username Cool Kid came online and uh, everyone just kept calling him new to the channel because that's what he introduced himself as. Okay, this is the next area. I'm certain of it. I don't know how close we are to the dig site. It's probably just over this hill, right? Because I kind of see the pits of Tartarus bubbling over the hill. We're going to buy this place. We're going to buy this place, and if there's a jeweler here, we're going to sell our gold. Don't think there's a jeweler here. I think that the jeweler is probably exclusively set up at the kind of first base that we get to. Exclusively. I think that's probably going to be the case. Okay. Come on through here. And here is the dig site. The shattered outpost. There we go. Shattered breach. Well, I'm about to breach this land ownership. Let's get our 10 grand over here and we'll buy some land. Yes, I love this. Okay, we'll drop this here. This is now our land, and we got the let's go down to the breach, breach achievement for purchasing the dig site. You have a great attitude towards such an issue for you? What, uh, politics? Or, or like, uh, people saying their name wrong? Because the only thing you can do is laugh. Also, from my perspective as a creator, if someone dislikes my video, it does nothing to me. In fact, if anything, it actually saves me from soft banning them, because they tend to be people that I don't want on my channel anyway. Uh, because what happens when you hit the dislike button on YouTube is that the YouTube algorithm will stop recommending you, the viewer, that kind of content, which is really, really funny. Because a lot of people are all like, oh, it's gonna mess with his analytics, and he's gonna get really insecure and pissed off, and it's gonna screw his chances of making money. It's not what it does whatsoever. It hasn't done that for almost a decade. <laughs> the whole purpose of the, of the dislike button is to cater to the viewer. Because YouTube is a platform for the viewers. It's got nothing to do with the creators anymore. Creator has no influence on the algorithm whatsoever. All they can do is basically scream into the void and hope something screams back. I'm going to look at the map right here. We are really close to... There we go. Cinder footing. That's where we want to go to. So this is the next place we're going to buy for the next achievement. Also out of your control. It is. It's completely out of your control. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. Name wrong. Angry with you. Oh, yeah, well, that's, I mean, that's just going to happen, right? <laughs> I know that there are people like that in the world, because I learned basically how to read. Awesome, we just got the good footing achievement. I learned how to read at a really young age, so everything that I know was essentially extrapolated from books. I read a lot of books instead of going to school when I was quite young, because I didn't really like school too much, and uh, the people at my high school were generally pretty crap people. I didn't want to be around any of them. So I, uh, I, I tended to kind of self-educate and I ended up being incredibly intelligent because of it. But the consequence of it is that there are so many words now that I don't know how to pronounce specifically. Like, people were getting really pissed off at me when I was playing Undertale for pronouncing Papyrus as Papyrus. And they were like, it's Papyrus! And I'm like, how the hell would I know that? I've never heard this word in my life. And people are insisting that it's just like common knowledge. So the best you can do is just mock everybody else who pronounces it correctly. As, as if I'm the one who's right. Views and watch hours are the uh, the only thing that matters, soil and green. I've got a little heart in the way. I don't know if uh, that's sarcastic or not. It's probably sarcastic. Uh, views, honestly, I don't even pay attention to the views anymore. All I do is pay attention to the social aspect of the streams. Because that's the part that I'm having the most fun doing. And also, editing the videos is something I have a lot of fun doing. It's, it's something that I actually choose to spend all my time doing. As opposed to, like, something I feel forced into doing. The people who turn up to my streams, uh, if, if they introduce themselves and they're a bit of a jackass, I will mock them relentlessly. That is so much more satisfying than, like, 
getting a billion comments on a video that says, oh, that great video, man, because, like, I made it. I know it's a great video. I wouldn't have posted it if I didn't think it was really, really good. Uh, that's the thing. And, and that's basically where it starts and ends. I'm right glad those hydrosols are extinct. Yeah, me too. Okay, 55,000 bucks. Jesus. We are not going to want for money ever again, I don't think. I've learned three times more on my own. Yeah, I know, right? When you... It's like RimWorld, right? When you have a burning passion to seek out information, you will get that information not only faster, but at a higher quality than someone who just kind of learns it for a job or learns it because one day they think they'll use it. Um, I completely ignored math in high school because I wasn't interested whatsoever. And as soon as I left high school, I realized algebra is really handy for cooking for like three or more people so you can edit recipes on the fly. Um, arithmetic's just always handy, especially if you're managing your own finances, which I've always had to. What else is there? Uh, geometry? My god, you have no idea how much geometry I used just in playing video games alone. Geometry is basically uh, required reading for breaking and fixing video games. Yeah, it is. Yeah, all of these are really handy skills. But, like, I wasn't interested in math in high school because I thought... I was always told, right... Oh, you're going to need to know this because one day you'll get a job where you have to you have to use uh, sine waves and parabolic trajectory predictions. And I'm like, what the hell? Why the hell would I ever get into a job where I'd want to do that? And I think they would probably then look at me like, what the hell? Why would you ever want to do the job? Why wouldn't you just go for the job that makes you the most money, you stupid idiot? You know, that kind of thing. Wait, why would you want quality of life? Yuck! That kind of stuff. But my teachers, uh, most of them are also pretty crap people too, so. You know, I don't feel too bad. All right, calling your bluff. We just got another achievement for purchasing the Lumberton Bluff dig site. We are blasting through these achievements right here. Now, I, I feel like self-education is one of those things that people will seek out. People will seek it out eventually. Especially if you're the kind of person who is just ultimately curious. I'm, I'm a very curious person. I know a lot of people around me who are racist and uh, xenophobic and they've got these views on the world that are just downright pessimistic and narcissistic and all these things. And it just comes from a place of fear. It's that type of ignorance where you, you never want to learn anymore. And I never want to be one of those people ever in my life. So I'm always curious to a fault. My ra if I ever express racism, it's because I want to know about the cultures, right? I'm not going to throw around racial slurs and stuff like that, like a lot of people tend to do out of fear and ignorance. But if 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 I don't know something about somebody's heritage, I'll I'll ask them. I'll ask, hey, how do you feel about being black? Like it's it's not that hard, right? As long as you're not just like, yuck! I got I got I got weird values that I grew up with that prevents me from liking your skin color. That's that's just wrong. That's that's just wrong. I was interested in learning, just not school. All the smartest people had a major dislike for the system of learning. Oh yeah, I've got like an IQ of maybe um, 280 or so in this in this tiny brain of mine, 280. It, it just spitballing maybe, maybe 280. Let's go to the other place. Let's go to the base game actually. And we'll also go and buy all of those dig sites just while it's on the mind. I don't know anyone like that. Oh, like super racist. I, I grow up in Southern New Zealand and uh, sadly, we are kind of known for a few things being high domestic violence rates, alcohol abuse, and just absolutely... How would you say it? It's racism, but it's... It's not quite violent, but it's the kind of racism where people will throw it at someone they don't like like you would throw a stone at somebody. Like, it's, it's a weapon. Yeah, it's, it's weaponized. Ra ra we weaponized racism. That's what we've got here, down here in southern New Zealand. And it physically disgusts me, uh, to be quite frank. I know someone like that. I know it's terrible, isn't it? I know a heap of people like that. In fact, like, when I started making YouTube content, I had this assumption that only one in six people would actually like me. Because I, I can be a bit of a jackass, and I can be a, a little bit prickly at times, and... Uh, sometimes I'll take my anger out on somebody and then I'll feel really bad about it, but at the same time I'll be too proud to actually admit, hey, I'm really sorry I just took my anger out on you. Like, every now and then, that'll be, that'll be as bad as it gets, right? But here where I'm from, we just have such an enormous amount of insecurities that 
it tends to be on YouTube, two and three people have ended up liking me, I would say. It, so it's not the whole, like, one in six people actually do like me, like, like in real life, where I'm just like, every time someone says something racist and I'm like, hey, can you, can you not say that to somebody as, as an intimidation or a weapon? And then they're all like, oh, what are you? A sympathizer? Are you a black person sympathizer? And then I'll never hear from them ever again. They'll go say a bunch of revol revolting things to their friends about me. Such is life. Such is life. Smartest IQ was 172. No, no, I got 280. The one fourth grader in our K-12 school. What the hell is K-12? Is that, a, is that actually a thing? Is that a drug? It sounds like a drug. We've got K-2 here, which is a drug. It's a synthetic drug. 280. Yeah, I'm 280. I'll be 280. Sure. They, they're going to have to double the size of the graph of, of IQs that you can fit on just to accommodate me. <laughs> Not because I'm particularly smart, because I've got the potential to be particularly smart. Kindergarten to 12th grade. Ugh, yuck. The real viewers tend to enjoy watching the real people that stream. I honestly wouldn't know. I, I don't know what real people want, because here in New Zealand... We just have such a huge culture of, of repress everything, bottle it all up, and then take it out on everyone you love. That, that's essentially one of the things that define New Zealand, unfortunately. I've hit two people. I've only been in the city for 30 seconds. Yep, there's three people. I'm going to go to the MILFs Aquifer, because I remember we've got a dig site set up there. We're going to get some money, and then we're going to go around and buy all the dig sites. But yeah, it's like, uh, you get a couple of dickheads on the streams uh, come in every now and then. They'll literally open with something racist or something offensive, and as soon as you call them out, they'll be all like, Oh, what are you gonna do, ban me? And then I ban them, and they feel real bad about it. Okay, so we're here. We have probably enough gold to last us a billion years. Let's just go ahead and pour it. We'll sell it if we can. And then we'll go around and we'll buy all of the dig sites in this area from our quad bike. Because we're not going to be doing anything else in the vanilla game for a wee while yet. I don't think. The right people will want someone who isn't afraid to tell it how it is and that isn't afraid to speak their mind. <laughs> well, you've definitely found me. My man, I have no filter. I got physical brain damage, which prevents me from having a social filter. I'm just kind of lucky that I turned out to be a, a, a somewhat good person. I wasn't for a number of years. I was a pretty angry kid. But, uh, you know, people change. People change. I didn't really want to perpetuate the issues that I keep seeing in society, so I, I stopped. Whoa! I stopped uh, being the problem as well as participating in the parts of society that I find a little bit disgusting. So that's why I'm here. Okay, now that we got this money, we need a map of some sort, don't we? Because we want to go around purchasing all the dig sites, or I could just do it off of my memory, which is notoriously unreliable, as I've just stated, because of the brain damage. Neurogenic fatigue. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna hit this guy with my car and also that guy. Oh, there's another guy here I can hit with my car as well. Done. Nice. Launch him into the sky. So I think there's one dig site up and to our left. It's not the Mills Aquifer. It is a proper dig site just up here. Excuse me, sir. Just need to knock you out of the way. Oh, I haven't had enough here. Here's a, here's a second. <laughs> oh, you're coming back for thirds, huh? Bonk. Great. All right, so. This away should be a nice dig site. Right up here. I think it's in here. I think this is it. So stoicism, but completely supernova stars collapsing on the people's spiritual space and bodies. Then it explodes outwards. What the devil? What, like offensive stoicism? Or maybe like, uh, maybe not offensive stoic. I am pretty stoic, honestly. Uh... But that's only because I grew up with a dickhead of a stepdad who um, didn't communicate his feelings ever and just bottled it up and then took it out on his on all of his loved ones, as I as I just mentioned. Right, good. Made the household that I grew up in real hard. Okay, it's no problem. Purchase Snow Rune Falls dig site. We've got another achievement, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and see whether or not there's another dig site that we just don't own yet. I'll go into my achievements and we'll take a look. We need one for using a Logic TNT barrel. It's pretty funny. Cut 50 gemstones by hand as well. We haven't completed the tutorial, which is hilarious as well. Uh, we need to purchase the Drip Quarry. Okay, there is another one that we haven't got. Okay, I know a bunch of things that we could actually do. 
How weird. All the fishing rod achievements don't work. What's this? Okay, a lot of these are Volcalidus DLC. There is one more dig site. There is one more dig site that we can go and check out. And then we are home free. We own every single dig site. It is called Drex Quarry. It's the one I think we keep mixing up with the Milf's Aquifer. We've got the other ones around here, I'm pretty sure. And there's also a Chivo for doing something with this money, which is going to be a massive waste, but I'll do it regardless. I'm still angry. I don't direct at anyone. I love being angry. I see white, others see red. Yeah, I've definitely found that you can direct spite into constructive places. I usually direct it into exercise. And kind of like, just the desire to do better. Which is probably the only thing that's really put a platform on the YouTube. Given my platform on the YouTube. It's, it's just the, the want to do better. What do they want here? There's a stock market here. What are they buying? They are buying gold. Piss. Actually, if we took that here, that gold bar here, we could have sold that and we could have uh, got an, another achievement for making 100,000 buckery boos on the stock market. Which is a pretty high number. We're going to have to turn on the machine and just wait, if that's the case. So, I think this is Drex Quarry? I don't think we're ever going to use it. I think it's a bit of a disgusting place. It could be really good, though. It's got one single water source and it's way off in the distance there, so... I think that the whole point of this place is just water pressure. It's also cheap as hell. Okay, good. Don't worry about the quarry. Purchase the Drek Quarry Dig Site. Done! We've done it! We've done it. Okay, so... The last achievement that I'm going to get in this little play session before I move on to Supermarket Simulator... I am going to go ahead and do something that's going to be a little bit of a surprise, and I don't know if anybody actually knows this is a thing in the game. So we've got to go on a hunt for a very specific item somewhere around here. Where do we find it, though? That is the main question. There. Perfect. I see it. Ah. Okay. So right here, we take our money, our 220,000 buckery booze, we bring it over here, and we throw it in the well. Wishing well. Throw coins into a well. I got a boot. Nice. It's a stanky boot, though. Okay. Well, I'm happy with this. Uh, we are going to move on to Supermarket Simulator. I'm not going to cut the live stream. I'm just going to end the recording. So, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Hydroneer that I have made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me and my community while I'm not streaming. And, of course, until I make the next episode, or you catch the next stream, I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!